Yeah, the Oakland is still there. <laughs> it's still out. Oh, it was so sad. We've seen, obviously, Snacks come back in Dallas in 2022. Now he's in game leading with Gamer Legion. I'm just sad that the Forest setup, uh, the standard didn't work out this time around. Would have been cool to see Forest back in the mix. And here we go, walking down into the short tunnel with C9. Ah! Like <laughs> Fuck, man! He's close by. That hello, 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 hello. Boys, why am I always a little bit late, bro? Why am I always a little bit late, man? Cheers, my friends. More than ever needed. More than ever. Another opening kill from Boomit. She gets the first of the round, and that's going to Give me one second. Give me one second. The MP9s to defend the B bomb site. Although, I take that back. Sure, he sticks around, slides right back into the bomb site. Oh, shit. Why do I do this to myself? For Cloud9 to play with. And if they show any presence, if they show any pressure at the end of the Sweet real quick and then I'm ready, bro. Sweet real quick and then I'm ready. Anything at all. I imagine it's oh, going to start man. making this defense pretty jumpy. Bang, bang. <laughs> they are getting ever closer to the A bomb site. With Give me Boomage. one second, Mots. I need a prediction now, this please. Is everything. That's a third smoke. If there's no dropped. prediction, I need one now. Electronics got a timer on this, so he's got to keep moving forward. Doesn't realize it just yet. Already, the defense is starting to shift. Exertion, not even going to check short. That bang, door opening, bang. though. Oh, he realizes that's so frustrating. The door is closed. Has to go and open it. And here comes Axel down the stairway, looking right at him. Exertion still wins that fight. Boomer hits the headshot on the defensive player. Shoe in nine seconds left. Limited time. They've got to start getting that bomb down now. And that's exactly what happens. Perfecto punches. Those digits in and towards the exertion. Classic they are C9. certainly in a weak position here, especially with this learn from electronic in behind, sweeps up towards and exertion would like to see that AK 47 now. Okay, yeah, wait, it's all he's got. All he's got. Bang! Cloud nine, to read this out. Now I'm ready to go. Boys, I hope you all had a fucking wonderful, like, just some what? words quickly. Hope you all had a wonderful fucking night. Hope you all are fucking good in a good fucking mood. I am not awake yet. This is my first coffee of the day. I am still asleep. I'm not yapping, I'm talking. Oh my so days. Chat, let's fucking get it. We have Navi elimination game today. Yesterday, I was cheering for my Navi boys. It was not enough, apparently. It was not enough. Um, today, they need our support more than ever. Yeah. Once again. Once again. Fuck, man. I don't want Navi eliminated. And they play, by the way, against the criminals of this tournament, against Apex, the people who eliminated the best team in the world, Big Clan. Elimination game. I want to see them get eliminated today. What Miles can bring out for some time as this losing bonus builds up. It's now at two rounds. Got some fucking revenge, man. It's time. This game right here, I am cheering for... A chance to warm up. Oh, come on, Axel. I like oh, the yeah, uh, C9 roll stuff, bro. He does get a double. Does eventually need the help of Boomic to clear out the rest. C9 and is more fun to watch to for now. me personally like call, than Mouse. I'm not invested with any players here. So probably just may as well just go for C9. And fact, Entertaining team to watch. Boomla always survive. If you can bring a few more players down, that's the best case Sorry, Jimbo. Waiting for a footstep. You Indication. are late, owner. Yeah. Forward, can't get one. Yeah. Is a little Bryce too strong. Got, it's easier to, to, to make it uh, at 12.30 than 13.30. Yeah. 13 13.30 is a fucked up time. Be, it is fucked up, bro. Too, still, as we just mentioned that previous round, the I would rather just wake up and then go live, rather than and like have some time in between where I can start doing things and then, uh, yeah, oh, it's already, you know? I swear to God, it's easier. And more enjoyable. Interesting point brought up by Bubski showing the Cyclone's commitment oh. to this mouse project is certainly there because, you know, a team like Astralis are searching for a coach. So you glad we get to send Vitality home on Monday. God is yourself. great. You Mostly are clueless, brother. You're going to fly home tonight. Um, but Cyclone resigns with Maus and stays with this project. And I, I think you probably have an emotional investment. I forgot about that. When you started with these players so young in the academy team, you kind of grown up. I think I'll the, wait on Monday. It's tomorrow. It's kind of like really hard to make a decision to leave <laughs> this kind of club that you've been with for years. Elimination game. Heroic versus Vitality. You know, he deserves a lot of credit. Jesus. For, for Today, chat. Navi elimination game. And, develop into the scary and Eternal Fire versus Falcons. See them hit their peak. Boss. <clears throat> oh. Relatively new coach as well. Was a player not so long ago. Exertion getting into short. It's 4.30 a.m. for you. For exertion, and it hasn't worked out. Hobbit is holding for it. Axol with a great shot from nice. Connector. Brolin was tunnel vision to try and get that trick kill and ends up getting caught by Axol. So Cloud9 in this gun round already have two players up. How did you yeah, sleep 12 hours? I didn't, bro. Risk, I was awake until 2 up, or something. Take a peek through door. 
Good shot from Axel. I was watching... Now, uh, this is so long for Cloud9 to get a chill. <laughs> Don't even want to say it. For the follow-up peaks, they'll trade them all off. Shuei and Jimmy go Bobby down. One. It's just torture. Bro. Yeah, and he's staying committed to this. <laughs> I was he's watching XQC <laughs> try like to find the new clues the and way. fucking no pixel. Jesus. Bro, I was so hot because I'm invested in myself a little bit, you know? I played RP before. Some they were looking at like there's some like monkey masks. On it's, on I don't know, man. I mean, just just look at the map. It's like Boomich and Hobbit. Did they are just find something? Pause, looking for pushes. Axile a little bit. Because at well one point I fell asleep. It's only really electronic hunting. Axile a little bit. He's kind of hovering between passive and aggressive. So they're just no. waiting to find out exactly Unlucky. where Torji is before making a decision. <laughs> Torji is going to get his only footsteps. Watch for ERP. What? I'm sure, it'll be Molotov. I don't even know what that means. Not as deep as they'd like, but plant should be just fine. Yeah, I think they realized the only sort of blind spot that Torji could be in is short, and Boomich plants on the other side of that pillar and peeks him. And okay, Big, big Boom. Boom was certainly making a lot of noise throughout the, the early stages of the play-in, right? They had a, an upset go against them earlier on in the competition. Oh, man, do you remember the game? C9 versus Bad Boom? Their that was event. one of the nicest and games we've watched, bro. Boomich was probably the loudest oh. player with Donk inside of the Hall of Heroes. Yeah, I mean, that, that third map he had against uh, VP was, was quite nice. He really got them uh, on the right foot, Cloud9. That was a banger. A victory, you know, and avoid any more, uh, avoid disaster. Really, the loss Mouse that you they took to Rebels some pistols, in the best of one it. stage was a shocking upset. I'm and hoping for a, a quick two nil. The level Cloud9 was bringing into this, so we've watched them improve over the three days of the play-in stage, and now we get to see if that can continue into the group stage of Katowice. Ah, you imagine Electronic will land this one. Axel actually gets it and Electronic follows up. Are you still sleeping in the bathroom? No. I'm sleeping in my bedroom bedroom again. And I think that's the problem. I sleep too good. When I slept in the living room, I was only able to sleep until 9.30, which is the perfect time. There's car noises outside, the light shines in. In my bedroom, I have like curtains. It's it's dark. It's, it's, I sleep through until 11 and, 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 and I still feel like a little bit. I swear to God, I think it's nicer to sleep in the living room. I wake up earlier and I feel better. I'm not even kidding. I didn't really believe that they would be able to stay. I sleep too tight in my living room. And my bedroom. And then the move for Brolin, I just felt like that was pretty underwhelming. Um, but Maui kind of was pointing out Sunshine that is goaded. It, it's probably one of the better yeah, moves they nice could have made. Yeah, it's nice to wake up, sun is open, and you don't have to, like, curtains, the and then slowly. Yeah, uh, is yeah, it maybe sure. I, I can't, you your know, body, because light has, has, uh, makes you awake, right? Like, there's some receptors, um, you know, and then suck. It keeps you awake. That's why you should turn the lights off, like, half an hour before you go to sleep. It makes you tired. I don't mind it so much. Is it because maybe my body already absorbed some of the light, and then when I wake up, I'm more awake. Talents, then when I player, it's dark, I open the, the curtains and then sunlight comes. The server, I swear there may be something to it. Competing at the top, Melantonin, so yeah. It was always, I think, going to be yep, at least a short-term step down, and I think Brolin gives him that opportunity <laughs> for long-term growth to meet back to that point. And Shue has shown us what he can do. Should I mute the cast? They're really talking gibberish, no? Getting to that major final in Paris, so. Talking about Just adding know. Brolin in. This is a good mix of players across the board. Time to see what Shui can do. Time to see what Torji Puss can do. for the He's five, the G. Hearts in the see. chat. That's, that's, uh, Only that's one the heart. advantage that, that everyone discusses when Thank Cloud9's you, inside the server without the, a true offer of their own. They've Thank you, boss. been able to kind of uh, use it piecemeal on a couple of players in a variety of situations to different effects. Five to two and on T side. It's cold science and not exactly. Here he comes, Hobbit. Spamming down through the wood. He's actually taking damage from the other side. Utility on over. I may on move my mattress to the living room again. Not gonna to lie. Taking that opening kill. Hobbit's another I player sleep next too good in my bedroom. A very good, very good Katowice so far. He really started to step up. Nice shot here from Torji. Fun That's fun. electronic down, and now they know they're going up against the op. They know where it is, and Boomich is accelerating towards this A bomb side, trying to take as much space as he can. And his teammate Perfectos with him. Groove mentioned they did some research and they looked into this and they looked into this matchup and very much prepared for Mouse and that's a very convincing call. You spot the retake the on. You get the kill they have a No hesitation from C9. Pushed aggressively Actually, towards the bomb site, confident the route would be clear. Now they've got themselves a post plant. A little bit light on utility. Plenty of nades and Molotovs and smoke for Mouse. 
Let's see if they can pull this Perfecto. off. Perfecto. Perfecto. One kill and they save. Bang. And he has cover immediately to go back in and out with headshots. It is Cloud9 dominating the start of the day. And Electronic is fired up. Flawless. Six rounds on the T side. And this isn't really a competitive at the moment. Look at the attitude in Cloud9. I woke up for this. Focused, ready to play today. Put on a fucking fight, Kurt. getting loud. Electronic's getting loud. This means a lot to Cloud9 nah. bouncing back from a very rough and unconvincing play-in stage. What a sequence from Perfecto, just chilling on track. I may have to delay my to coffee. Out. No Molotov at his feet, no nades to his position, and it's a triple kill. And that's everything taken from Maus. The first round they get the AWP is round eight. Close the prediction, I'm closing it right now, kill, last chance. But no impact on changing the round. They'll have it for the next round here. They don't have all the support network around it. They're going to have pistols out. Uh, what do I pin? This card Reddit. In the bank. Not the start Miles would have been Reddit. hoping for. And maybe there is something you said about warming up in the play and coming into the group You stage. know what? Because we've seen Ed I'm pinning. Number one vitality. I hope they got everyone. Them. You know, there's, there's something you said about warming up in this environment, nice especially day. at the start of the Welcome year. Welcome to the stream. Well, Miles has that up on towards How about you again. That? Huh? He's gonna so don't have always to be have to advertise. With it. He's always think to business. Nah, no, I hope you all are having a nice day. Bang. If he wants to keep Mal's in this row. Oh, no, he's about to be an eight stack, Jason. Here it goes. Bang, bang, bang. And it's towards you. Damn, bro. Five health. Very fortunate to still be yeah. around, still stand on top of his teammate's head. Yeah, who's the secondary opera on Mal's? Pass that bad boy over. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is crazy. If the op had gone down in that one swoop. You would have felt like if you're on the mouse side of things, a Cloud9 have your strap book. They have every read so far. But towards the five health, at Calm least down. is still standing. And he's going to rotate up to the bank. He still holds that AWP. Rose a thousand gifted on his own channel? Oh god. I actually don't want to know how much I gifted to my own channel. Look Why do I have so angle. many gifted to my own channel? Cloud9 being very cautious and slow on the map. I didn't press space by that many times, huh? Putting mouths with whatever Tax kind of buy they fraud. have, burn their utility, <laughs> maybe get a little bit of nervous, oh, yeah. second guess any stacks they have. Thirty seconds. They're gonna start shifting back to the B bomb site. So Electronic's been waiting. They have control of perfect stems timing and connector. Good kill from Shui, and that's gonna speed things up. Electronic just now moving through monster. Yeah, coming right through, attacking this B-bomb side. Exertion's here with the Deagle. Help behind fire for it's the meantime. 20 seconds left. No, he he's not. It's just pistols on the side. Though, that's it. That's Easy. wrapped up, and that's exactly what happens. This T-side is unstoppable. Mouseland, get a fucking oh, grip, they bro. The op, and they just recovered an AK-47 they can bring into the next rounds. I, I think Cloud9 is going to be content with this victory. Probably not going to go on any kind of a hunt, because the save has been called pretty much immediately. Oh god, it will run an ad during the game. When do I do it? Now because they're safe? Run running an ad so we have none during the game. Bang. You will never have an ad from now on. The first one is always cooked. This is a map. You know what I they know. They took off Virtus Pro in that series to get through the play-in stage no, doesn't even work. in the elimination game. And that wasn't really close, was it? Oh, it was 13 to 5, and that's a Virtus Pro that's considered a very, very strong overpass squad. So Cloud9. They know how to work this map, and they're showing it again here against Mouse. Yeah, once you take a big win like that over Virtus Pro and Overpass, you okay. really do stamp authority over your Overpass performances. Everybody has to give you respect. And we're seeing quite an in-depth T-side here. They're not making now. too many mistakes. They can pace change up a little bit. You know, you're seeing some quicker plays, right, explosive really finishes long, the round. Last time out already. See from Cloud9. They have zero timeouts left. Through. Three timeouts in this half already. For any of the T-Rods. to see any yeah. steady improvement. I mean, at a certain, this third timeout is probably better be speaking in double times. It's, it's time to wake up. Like, it's, it's time to show up today. First game of Katowice. Well, yeah, Shox brought it up. Effie brought it up in the interview with Groove and just said, you think this is going to be an advantage? And I think anyone who plays will tell you, having those extra days in the play-in stage. Mouse haven't played since January 20th back at the uh, the online RMR qualifiers. I mean, you know how much of a different beast those are. It's looking like a slow, Here we slow go. start for Mouse. They better get it going here, otherwise this half is going to be unrecoverable. Yim fat. Is this a limb? No. Starting outside of Monster. Electronic. Navi elimination is a limb. Taking control of Fountain. Right after this. Some space taken here on the CT Where? side, and he isn't stopping. He's going to go around that corner into the playground. And maybe Brolin can start Surely. to and flank around the back of it. It will be an easy win, exactly right? exactly where Cloud9 plays going. Who's Navi against Apex? Axel at the front, taken out by Yimfat. 
Yeah, this is going to stall out Cloud9 and, and really allow this flank to start going for Brolin. Yeah, at least for the moment. And this might be one of the few hiccups Cloud9's encountered in this T side so far. We'll see how they kind of adjust around it. They've been able to, you know, Boom, which has provided Ooh, Electronic, so is he aware? Kills. Flank from Brolin gets spotted. Awkward fight for Electronic. And now it's a two man advantage. Yeah, I thought Electronic was about to take Brolin out there, predicting that flank going You can back silent forward, drop there. What as a you noob. said, timing just made it an awkward fight. And Brolin's just locking down this area of the map now. Ooh. Perfecto trying to come up the ladder. Timing works against Brolin. Yeah, but Perfecto doesn't know that, so he's being cautious to look for the fallback. And if Perfecto doesn't find him, Brolin's going to have a backstab. Oh, they line up. Almost doubled. Hobbit's brought very low. Skinbit is sick, Loki. And you and are 30 seconds left a in smart a individual, my friend. And handsome. Holding bathrooms. You've got and so much money if you're you going great you name. definitely go for this. Take weapons away is the goal. And obviously, finally, the someone who understands. Of taking on Perfecto, it's, it's kind of over from there. Hobbit doesn't want to progress forward without a teammate. So this round's done. Mouse have their third, and they do it convincingly. Four players survive, build up some money. It's not a sketchy buy in the next round. Don't get so tricked you hoped for by site, your third sites paying millions for ads. This half is all about recovery. Find the good product. There's a lot of it to do. The issue is because they have been dominated so long in this half, Everyone. there's so much money available for Cloud9, so they can buy straight away. They can get everything they want, all the bells and whistles, all the utility <laughs> out. So it doesn't get any easier for Maus. Chad, no, which mean, game are you the most bricked no up for today? For Cloud9 whatsoever. Good Probably Navi alum, no? Good aggressive flank. Faceland versus EF could be a banger quick, as well. Could be. Because Eternal Fire is there cooked on that their head, enemies yesterday. Ah, there is now. It was Onich. You see that little, look at that little glizzy. That looks, Rebels? That, that bread looks a little what? Off. I don't even... Guys, no way we're watching this I over Faceland versus Eternal Fire, right? Electronic. I, I would be kind of down, the smoke with Boomich. They're but gonna bust right through. This time, not spread whatsoever. Good nade chunks him down, but they're coming through regardless. Oh, yep, big headshot from Electronic. Follow up in exertion goes down. Because no, it's sure a limb. Just chilling back. It's gonna be a lineup of multiple oh, players oh. holding and down. And we but all know. It. Probably should have got a multi kill there. How he's under so much pressure, so much scrutiny, and still gets a double. How entertaining the oh, Falcons wow. okay, mold can be. Miles. They have woken up, and there's fist bumps Maiden, all around. Snappy. Yeah, that's my idea. Well game done. against Rebels. Electronic hands up. He's very, very vocal between these rounds. I, I would love to just be there, like, inside of the team comms and just understand what Electronic's saying because it looks like almost a military-style drilling. Yeah, he didn't look happy about something. I think, if anything, it's probably that nobody actually swung out after he gets the first two kills. Shuey's able to take that fight in towards Tunnel. Three, four players just boxed up all together, shoulder to shoulder. That's a very tantalizing How's prospect. How's the production still open? This is ridiculous. I'm closing it soon. Last Electronic saying, why did nobody swing? Why did nobody get out and create some space? Why is everyone just chilling? I've got five HP and two entries. And now he's gone down first again, so that frustration probably builds. Hobbit <laughs> creeps out in towards water. Oh, man. The position taken. <laughs> Cloud9 starting to struggle. Bro, I browsed yesterday Hobbit, evening through ooh, the Twitter community and there were so many people complaining about the closing predictions. <laughs> I'm Mouse sorry. Are gathering <laughs> info with that. Torsi's got a connector. I think it's a down. Twitch bug. Like, so, I don't know what, start to, become what to do, bro. Very suffocated. In terms of the map control they've got available, that door gets blown open. Torsi locks that kill in. Okay. The Infat follows up and Exertion swings back to Monster. Cloud9 getting outmatched now towards Ooh. the end of this first half. My man's cheating. Yeah, that, that third time out did wonders, apparently. It just took all three, but they've arrived inside the server, thankfully. And that story of recovery. Mal's Good comeback. Back after the, the timeout, we may time. have a game we'll on our hands. All the way back. It is very CT sided, but for whatever reason, we have seen an incredible amount of T side comebacks, if you remember. Um, boys, while we have this minute to spare, first of all, um, oh no, I can't even get the ad out of the way, bro, because it's, it's too soon. Um, boys, the games that we have today, let's quickly go over them. We only have two minutes to spare, I think. Before we go into the second half of this first map. Mouseland versus Cloud9. Then, hear me out please. Navi vs Apex. Elimination. We're watching this one over this one. Why? Because elimination. Navi elimination. We can still switch when we realize that it's a crazy stomp or something. Yeah, We can still do that. Um, Eternal Fire versus Faceland. Or Rebels versus Falcons. Elimination. Help me out here. Faceland, not elimination. 
Falcons got smoked by Eternal Fire. If Falcon starts to lose, these guys will snap. Mm -mm. And I don't want Falcons to get eliminated. Mm. Watch face. You think? Face versus the F. Yeah. We think about it. We think about it, okay? Mm. Boys, while we have this minute, still, I think we quickly check the Reddit. Yeah? Bang, bang, bang. Uh, what do we have? What do we have? Endgame finally picked up my dream skin. It's an orb dragon law. Yeah, yeah. Not too shabby. No stickers or anything. Would be cool if you included the fo uh, float. Beautiful. Not gonna lie, it's a bit funny to see Dilo and Karambit sitting next to Paris papers. True. Also has Pandora's box gloves. Not too shabby. WL, I tried to have a unique combo. We saw this yesterday. Boss, which one should I keep? Uh, I'm annoyed that you didn't show the Karambit play side, bro. Because the play side is what matters. The play side, we, uh, the pattern is important. And the corner is important. You show us the back side. Can't, can't judge of that. Which one? I would say... Number two or number three. Got a new Glock a while ago. That is insane. Foix Fanatic on a fucking glizzy. On a relatively new glizzy. These stickers were very expensive once the skin came out. You gotta remember that. So my World 1 AK case and I bought two more weapon cases. Gave and paid me with this. Number two. It better be an upgrade. Yes, let's go. Oh no. Let's go. I think he has it twisted. Bro, the odds of this happening is so incredibly low. He sold his AK case hunt for a chance to like what this is one in a fucking five one in eight hundred or something to get this fucking all oh, my days. He yeah, upgraded the float though. I, I mean, Cloud9 went on a seven that was way too risky, man. That half. So Mal's just barely recovered, but it's still not pretty. Gonna have to start out hot. Gonna have to get to and right prediction away. closes now. Bang! I already closed it. Fuck Plenty the late batters. Available for Mouse, in particular Shuei. Uh, the even fat with smokes. Am I right, guys? This is Cloud9's <laughs> map pick. Axel playing much better today. That's what we like to Very see. Very CT side map should be easy for the team. We did ask questions about Axel's performance today. Zershin making his way through middle. His teammates are when Polish team is going to win IEM. Ooh, and played well yesterday. Walks further down long. Maybe this IEM, bruh. It's a stack from Cloud9 towards that B bomb side with four players. Axel's the only player twice? over here in I defense. think Spirit may be able, bro. Takes for someone to shift back Spirit is so good. They haven't heard anything on the map quite yet. Boomich is now rotating. It might be a little bit late. Axel is going to need to deliver something early. Gets gooshed up, has to fall back. That means all five Cloud9 players are going to be stuck behind Utility for this retake. They do have a smoke and they do have a kit. Yeah, that could be absolutely key for this. Exertion, though, we know his aggression, we know his confidence when he gets going here, and he's pushed through bank behind that smoke. Bruh. Exile is taken out. And now we're looking at this 4v5. A retake scenario for Cloud9 becomes a lot more difficult despite having the utility. And here they go with that utility being set up. Boomich sends the flash over. Smoke's available too. Electronic taking it down as he tries to run that corner. Yinfat, okay. only one. Torsi has to step up alongside Shuei. Hey, and it's clan. done six. And now Miles are just one round they away needed from that tying versus Cloud9. Yeah, I mean, that's the, the benefit of the pistol round, right? Uh, when we saw the guns Dunk come in front out, of the crowd will get stomped. You think so? Round. Now that could all change here. Dunk didn't play in front of the crowd, yet. right? Good push through the smoke and, the bank and don't tell me fucking Bet Boom Dacha, which was fucking what? Probably like... 
fucking eight people. Next now let's take an easy bomb site. Um, Next exertion here you were talking about he that didn't, first uh, half uh, that you wanted to see step up on this T side and see sort of an elevation in his performance again and see that impact coming through. Yeah, mm. he's such a he's such a creator for this team. Like he loves making plays, he likes being aggressive, he likes finding gaps in the defense and looking for places he can flank and, and, and timings he can push into. Sorry. And it hasn't been I mean, just just by nature, a style like that is sometimes gonna be up and down. Full equal by gambling. Sometimes towards, it works, eh? sometimes it doesn't. And obviously when it when it is working, this mouse team gets a whole different dimension of danger to it. Yeah, and there was Who's casting on the B stream? If I have splash machine on the B stream, really I'm gonna snap. Have a good event and step up and mouse would look got two to get past here. Go How ahead, you remember go? the RMR is yeah. going into the blast major. That was in particular a very good tournament for him. It's because stylistically, when he's having a good time and things are working and he's got a good feel for his plays, it's like that that kind of style opens up opportunities for everyone else on the team, which is why even I mean, even when the numbers aren't aren't necessarily great for exertion, just the decision making and the things he goes for can cause enough chaos for other players to step up. These are the best rounds of Counter-Strike for an individual. Oh, now get those free kills. Oh, ha. And that's uh, the attempt at least, but uh, Brolin had the MAC-10, doesn't get any money, and in fact they've lost that's both two of his weapons. So Cloud9 will take that, Galil. Perfectors even looking to do damage with it from Heaven, using their own weapons against them. Exertion goes back towards the barrels. Sure, he locks that headshot in. And Axel, well, I'll take it. Did you watch free. Navi or Spirit? Navi. It's elimination game. Take a free sample, and he'll run away. We have to, bro. Yeah, might even be worth keeping on the CT yeah. side, this Galil, for sure. Save some money. Ooh, Guys, Robert, Spirit is not the limb. Here. He's going to jump around that corner. He's got that Mac 10 out, making that money. <laughs> and he's got one. He died, actually, right at the end. But he's got an extra kill. Yeah, it's a good if kill. Navi loses, they fly fucking home, bro. He could actually drop an op over. I need to watch yeah. that. If they wanted to get frisky, I mean, again, the conversation of not. Who is going to do it? <laughs> it's going to be Boomich, as, as we've seen some some cool things from him. Yeah, we see. I mean, we've seen some rounds for Perfecto like, trying to use the op, and it was like, yeah, I think Boomich is probably the, the better option now. Yeah, but I feel like every time you have like an <laughs> like patchwork opera like I this, can't. it's kind of like you're just going to get a solid performance. Like, it's not it's not consistent. It's like some days he's going to be feeling it with the op, some days it's going to be a little bit rougher. I'm not that much of a fake He's been practicing with the op, certainly. But let's see what kind of boomage off we got here to start the group stage. Oh, Jimmy, it's yeah, not the start of you like to Kappa. see for him. But you tell me to watch fucking spirit. Absolutely got me mixed up. Blasted by grenades and bullets. He's down to 17 health. Axel confident, goes for the peak in middle. Does damage to exertion and then drops Fake away. Fake dunk, friend. <laughs> Alles klar. Flashes off from Shue. Sending his teammates into short. Good map control here for Miles at the start of the round. They've got themselves in a great position, and okay. that shot and that kill is going to go a long way. That's going to frustrate Electronic. Dang, yeah, nice shooting from Shue. Counter Molotov towards the end of Monster. They've got no more smokes for the Monster Tunnel. Boomich is off is at the A bombsite, hasn't seen anything. Exertion is slowly creeping up to apply a little bit of pressure to this bombsite, but it's Hobbit and Perfecto who are in the most awkward situation. Yeah, here comes that monster. Oh, Hobbit who's right now. Up those A stars just outside the bomb site, cutting off information for the Cloud9 defense. Perhaps trying to elude the fact that Mouse might be heavy outside there, uh, but instead it's this B pop and Shue and Yumfak coming in with multiple kills. No kids. They can get that bomb Boomla. down. Shue looking to lock Need it in behind fast. the cover. And Boomich is not getting the shots on target here. Not quite getting the wall bangs in position. And uh, Agdal is going to have to lead the way if they want to go for this retake. Neither one of them have kits, so it'll no have to be quick. But if the M4 can't produce anything, the op's going to have to bail out. Oh, so they're giving the op to Axile instead. Oh, what? what? He's Axel actually cheating. One, and Shui's down to eight health. Nine. So close as well. You're oh, my days. Axile put his x-ray glasses on. What the fuck? That combined with the fucking, what was it? Connector wall bang? So is Axile like, yo, nah, that's crazy. Off. I know the spam spot. He's got a feeling on this map just unfortunate not to get a kill though if he gets it on shui they go for that for sure well that could have been that something crazy. special and it's not so that's the reality of the situation here it's mouse into the lead and this is after that huge streak in the first half from cloud nine where we were saying this game's getting out of hand cloud nine looking fantastic we were yeah. talking about that big win versus Virtus pro perhaps they'll replicate that versus mouse but they just woke up after that third timeout, and it's been round after round See after that round. See lock-in, bro? Yeah, they thankfully cooled you them had mouse gun by the balls. The that first half, and they've what was it? Over Seven to three on fucking Seaside? Side. As you mentioned, three this is Seaside. side to get lock mouse in, bro. awake into the game. They are not Means good. Any kind of obstacle they hit in the second half, they can't get Cyclone involved. But on one level, you got to say he's done his job. He got the boys woken up. It's a one-round lead. 
economic and weapon advantage leaning towards Mao's as well. As we head into round 16, shuei has been hitting some shots. He really has. He had that opener in the last round too with that smoke spam down through Monster. Obviously, when you get a kill like that, we, there's actually no chance of them <laughs> shooting back or getting the trade. It's going to go a long Let's way go. to giving you a comfortable T round, especially if you're that in-game leader. From already now the people team. saying, why are you watching this game? Here in round oh my days. Mods are needed today. I may need to have, I may need to add one more mod. I like the confidence, Anyone in the chat who I can the trust? Assertiveness of Torji. Just bullying Boomich with the AWP a little bit. So it's a little bit of a gimmick. <laughs> Tinkerberry, why Maxell did you rename? Top of the sandbox that is short. Shit, Electronic man. plays below him. Yeah, we're going to start CS. clearing this on a timing pretty soon uh, here with know. how aggressive they are. At some point, they're going to want to turn that corner and Electronic's going to see it clear. Bubich is going to be the player that is heavily tested in this round, though, with Hobbit, who can get that early warning system going. With the 5-7, <laughs> he's hoping when this smoke fades away, he can From get the this kill. From the messages that I read, Exertion couldn't see him. A quick I'm pivoting towards Odrizia. And no kill for Hobbit on the follow-up. A minute left in this round, 4v4, and Bubich is in the bathrooms. Mm. And you know what that means? The big boom has his magic stick and nah, it's a he's kill on Shuei gone. <laughs> and 4v3, right. kill for Boomich and no problem. He's scared off Mouse. They don't want to go into the toilets when Boomich is hanging around. It's never safe. And then this is even worse. Double setup and short. Electronic with the Deagle. Ooh. Axel's going to peek on contact. Think you're very nice so and clean. That's a bit of a banana skin for Mouse to slip up on, isn't it? They're up against pretty low weapons. You have the AWP in the bathroom. You're like Xapas. And you still lose against but some of these weaker pistols. The spam small. thing, too, is because Hobbit and, uh, and Boomich each you're get like a kill in that round you know? at the front of bathrooms, you funnel Mouse to adjust on the I map and swing towards the B bomb site where you have I that trust short you, stack waiting. So without the success of Boomich and Hobbit, they don't exit out this door. They might just continue marching forward but instead they have to go back into the waiting arms of electronic and exile torji just trying to save the op it's going to be under pressure yeah axel is close by he's coming around that corner oh, and luckily he's able to save it they're giving mercy mm. and now we're all tied up again but that's the Except opportunity for Cloud9 to get into the CT <laughs> half. It's not We've never been the same since sure then. Thing, well. Because Mao still have enough money I still don't get it. He still hasn't purchase. explained it. Yeah, but like, that's uh, such a bro. strong win for Cloud9. Their money just balloons right out of the gate, out of that <laughs> victory. <laughs> They've got another it, buy bro. built up behind this, regardless uh, of what happens in this round. Two Tech Nines, two AKs, and an AWP for Mouse to bring forward, and it's heavy towards the B bomb site. This might just be a B rush. Exertion leading the way. Here we go. Fast play from Exertion. He loves these, and not this time. Perfecto. Cuts them down through the monster tunnel. Exertion and Jimmy both gone. The nade Finally. combo just softened them up and made it nice and easy for the rifle to just brutally remove them from play. And that resets and their the money as well. spams the bullets through. They realize it was a monster rush and they cancel it out. I think somebody for maybe forgot a smoke on the mouse side of things because they were fighting in a Molotov, a very shallow Molotov at the exit to the monster tunnel. And there was no chance that was going to do anything. Yeah, you're just taking damage all, all over the show. You just melt. They haven't even touched anyone. And I don't, I, I don't know what you do Damn, if you're Miles in this. You've got We're a minute, at 100 a percentage round. You might be thinking you want to save this ADVP. Well, we might have an extended, relaxed, chill end to this round. Yeah, Torji might go hang outside the nightclub, listen to some music, try and get this AWP in the next round. <laughs> oh, I said free sample earlier, Jason. It kind of triggered a memory of my scumbag behavior. What? Where I would sometimes, you know, I would take my hoodie off, go up to a free sample desk and get, like, a, a nice delightful treat and then i would put the hoodie back on make it look like i was a different person going what? Up and down i was very young but do you reckon that worked <laughs> or do you reckon the, the free sample person knew no that's I a classic actually person didn't care yeah that's that's probably that's reality i wouldn't care if i was a free sample uh, am i the only one as well Dude, I haven't really seen when it comes to samples and stuff, or when you like, when you're in a hotel know, room well, and they have these like Costco, kits baby. with like something to stitch up good things dog, right? or like um, foot long hot even dog. things that you would never and use, a like a fucking and a Pepsi for a washing $50. hat. $50. I just fucking always take those, you know? Yeah, it is. <laughs> those That's little like one time use things. Always gotta take the whole fucking goodie bag. And the slippers, the, the eye, gotta take him, bro. So that's into the next round, and I like this angle. German like mentality. Also, when there's breakfast, <laughs> the top and there's monitor. something like, 
um, like crackers, like in a yeah, in a in a, in a in a plastic bag or something. Smoke just take some for like bit. for like another time, you know. We're not gonna eat them now. Pretty much dead. It does extinguish the Molotov, but the damage is done at that point by Perfecto. Suck. Single round lead. Put like ten Cardano. into your bag. Oh, it's not good looking at all here for Malice yep, because yep. three players have Glocks. Oh, there's a Tech Nine. They realize, oh, actually, I have a Tech Nine in my back pocket. Take that. Exertion is given. Not because you're trying to like save money or something. Of course he has but to it's win just, this, and he does it. It's just, it's him just him nice. You know what I mean? These like things, wonder, like this you know, nicely packaged stuff. I would never buy them. They're expensive. Many it's just, it's just to nice. You know? Them, but <laughs> booing to CT up here of the last few rounds has been pretty good, and and this front actually beating Torsi in their heads up duel. My mom always takes when she's somewhere else. So These like out real quick what you put into your coffee, victory. like uh, now, the the, the they're, sugar, they're first plas like in a paper wraps, and, and the salt. <laughs> she like collects them or something. You know? In this round. He's got oh man. Jimmy That's and Exertion moving up banana towards his position at the A bomb site. Sue and Brolin from different fucking places. It's like where Exile waits at range with a rifle. Oh my God! Can I say this? The Glock sets up the distraction to offset the cross. A friend of mine, when he moved to the away. Netherlands, it's he didn't have any cups. To get rid and as well, well rifles, something like, which, which like, it's like meaningful, he asked the server at a Starbucks if he could buy the cup and they were uh, they sold it to him. He still has it to this day. You understand? No way. Oh, Shui can do this. Blocked oh, off by the back. Molotov. Exertion inside of the bathrooms takes damage too. Shui's held back, but there's still time on this. It'll fade away. He'll still have time to peek and deny the deep fuse. Come off it. They come off it. And now they have to get back to it. Shui dies it long. And Malice make that Easy. competitive. They bring it so close. But Cloud9 just about stay afloat. Yeah, plenty of time for that defuse. But getting off, if, if, if Shui wins that next fight, all of a sudden it's a really awkward 1v1. 10 to 8. Do you Cloud take extra recovered. napkins? That's a no. Lot of pressure and a lot of danger. But extra Straws sometimes, yeah. Just with the kill on Axel out towards when they're like paper wrapped, you know. Boomich, when he changes his angle, doesn't For realize home. <laughs> how closely they've moved up to the bomb site. He almost gets caught off guard. Classical. Very fortunate, Cloud Nine, to get away with that one. Ten to eight. <laughs> That's a great example of staying in the round despite what weapons you have. You know, that's just great teamwork, setting each other up to allow that one kill for Shuei, and then suddenly an opportunity presents itself with the first step taken, but... Close, but no cigar, they've got to come oh, back and fight this Okay, round. now one thing will be relatable as hell. Smoke. He's taking a risk in this round, we haven't seen this yet. I can't be the only nine. one. Perfecto and Electronic doubled up and fallen. Oh, the smoke fades away. Who he as well, as a kit, and now with a minute and 20 seconds, had a collection the play the rest of, of the these, bro. Down, thanks to Axel's push-up through connector. Nah, you already <laughs> know I had like a hundred of those. He has struggled, he has struggled Classic. so much. Four and 14. And this round is done. <laughs> My mom was Everyone always like, yo, put some back. Struggling right now. This, this Cloud9 oh, team, no. once they've kind of uh, gotten a good feel for the CT side, they've been so disruptive in terms of taking away everything Mouse want to do. Pushing mid, pushing con, getting open <laughs> kills, stopping Hell stuffing yeah. rushes at the B bomb site. I think Mouse is running out of ideas. There's not many rounds to come up with new ideas either here. We're getting to the end of Overpass. Mirage up next, that is Mouse's map pick. They would feel comfortable going to that affair, but with how Cloud9 are playing today, warmed up coming into the out of the play and rather into the group Fall stage. It seems to be paying off right now for Cloud9. Good shot from Exertion. Need a lot more than that though. 18 Suck. seconds live, Boomich impales him with an AWP and a second. We are swing. so back. Cloud9 do have an offer for this map, it seems. Yeah, hitting some solid shots, Boomich. 11 to 8. And remember, no more timeouts for Maus. Mentioned that earlier, they yeah. burned the ball in the first half, so there's there's no way they can just take a breather and have a conversation. And Cloud9's getting, not giving them any reprieve and not calling any of their own. They've only called one in this half. Yeah, no need right now. It's going yeah. so swimmingly for them. Yeah, let Maus just stewing it. Let them try and figure things out on the fly. Well, that's what they've got to do with Tech 9s and P250s here. 
In fact, catches a timing in front of that utility. Actually, didn't land. Axel's Molotov pistols only. Does not get into position, but he does, and he's pushed up towards party, and he's going to rain on their parade. It's one for Axel so far. <laughs> Yimfat hits the deck, and Axel just using smokes as defensive utility to keep himself alive. Remember, Buic is with him, so he can cover off that flank side, and that's why Axel seems so confident and comfortable just looking at this smoke. And Shuei is coming through it, and to his demise. It's now the Tech-9 pulled out for Axel instead of that reload. He's just handling business, and he is really feeling it in map one today. One it's great to see Axel up here getting round. these numbers and fragging out. Yeah, he's got a bit of attitude to him. Torji's stuck over in the playground. I mean, this is the amount of kills he had in that quadruple overtime earlier on in the competition, so good to see. But again, it's like, I mean, even even in this round, I know it's uh, it's it's like Tech 9s and it's a little bit, it's a low buy for Mao, so they're not coming in with AK-47s, but they had an idea of what they wanted to execute even with those Tech 9s, right? They had some smokes, they had some flashbangs, they had some things they wanted to try and do, and this aggressive stance from Exile just Navi. disrupts yeah. anything. Same with Boomich. After Paragon. this they Navi elimination burn game. utility just to try and clear this position out, which means even if, even if they're successful, they don't, they no longer really have a clear end game. Four chances, four round lead for Cloud9, four opportunities to take a one map lead in this series. Gamer Legion 1 against Monty. Electronic. Boost it up. Bro, Gamma Legion has been playing pretty fucking forward. good, man. And Axel and Connector. Yipfat's gonna go around the corner and clear it. He's gonna hard clear that, and Axel. <laughs> Dishes out damage, but receives a headshot, so he's gone. And Maus, for the first time in a while, will have a comfortable advantage in the round. Umla. Oh, that would have been a beautiful one to have. Nobody burns. Steps back into That's the Molotov Tilta. from Shuei, and Torji builds on it. Taken down eventually. It's Electronic and Hobbit to defend this beef bomb oh. site, and Electronic's doing it well. No way. Electronic is just devastating them now. A second kill. And he's looking towards connector. In fact, peak Electronic with the headshot. Lord. My god, Electronic. Electronic is so fast. This round. 55 seconds left. Mouse are heading back to the A bomb site, and they so desperately need this just to stay alive on map one. And they can make an educated guess about, you know, the A bomb site being relatively clear because it's Hobbit over there. So utility's going to come down. Plant's going to go down. Rotation on the way for the retake. Kits coming. available. Two smokes. The Bond villain himself. Making his way up those steps. Shue and Exertion, two sharp players. They've got to deal with this. They've got two smokes for the bomb, so if they can, even if you don't get a kill, you smoke the bomb, you toss out a Molotov, and you get going with it. Yeah, there's none of those pieces of utility available yeah. here for Malice Just to come back. That that. So smoke goes down onto the bomb. That's going to create pressure for the two post plant players. So Electronic. And Exertion. Electronic. Man, he's onto the ace, bro. And nearly all five, but the deep so good. All along. It's Cloud Nine with map one. It's Alec fucking Tronic. Not a creep. One, post something, like interact, upvote someone, downvote someone if you hate his post. Fuck it, you can be a hater, you can be a lover. Or you make your own post, you create your own product. Put it out in the world. See how the community receives it. Reddit.com slash r slash on a pixel. Bang. Let's go, let's go. We're almost at 40k members and you can be one of them. Poggers. I thought they missed it, but I go to connector. All good. It's in the con. The smoke oh, doesn't go out towards know. the window, and Perfecto is in behind that connector. Smoke Zershin. Oof. Peace. Nice. Oof. This I want C9 to, to win. 2 0. They're committed to it, and you have Electronic at A ramp already. You have Boomich looking at Palace. This is going to be a tough angle. Oh, this is looking a little dicey for Malz, especially with a man down. Yimfat coming up through a window. Torsi's with him. Oh, nice wow. shot from Torsi. <clears throat> He'll take that one. And there he is, Cloud9's latest. Alper, Boomich. Interesting. So Electronic's pushing now. So this is this is kind of this is kind of weird. If he wraps all the way around towards middle, it's Boomich. Oh, they're genius. Ooh. Oh my Ooh. days. So smart. He's got the big brain moves. That wins the round. For it. So much brain Unless. power on display here, but it's all about the shots now. And uh -huh. Electronic Julie's are Should overpowered, man. And now he's looking for a little bit more. Electronic swings and is dead to Brolan. <laughs> yeah, but do you continue with the tactic if you're Mouse? They've spotted the bomb in Palace. Like, everyone can commit. And Ooh. yeah, they're moving forward. Jimmy's down in Cubby. Axile dueling. They know one's at ramp now. Needs to be a win somewhere. 2v2. And Jimmy's got a trade. He does indeed. Axel nice, gets straight out one for one. Hobbit has to step up in his stead. And now 1v1. 1v2 ahead of him. Hobbit. So good shot on that P250 up first. 
And 20 seconds. To default, so Torchy can't plant there, but he knows exactly where his next victim is. Hobbit. He gets to plant, he comes off it, and Hobbit knows that now. He knows he's in a fight. No and way! He's got the clutch. There he is, the little Hungarian hero. She had 40 yeah, HP, man. P2 Fetty doing some work. Taking Hobbit down right at the end of the day. A hard pissed around win for Maus. That was that looked like Cloud9 was in a great position most of the way through, but some nice shots from Torji, as we see. A couple of nice headshots and cleaning Hobbit up, not losing track of him on the fake plant. It's one to nothing. Uh, but this is how overpass started, so you know. Let's everybody stay reasonable. So plenty of time for things to go uh, wrong. Oh my goodness, Boomage. He ain't happy. Be careful. My man's punishing he himself. Happy. He's giving himself whiplash. His brain just bouncing around his skull. What is it with Snappy and Boomit punching themselves in the head? You know, gotta be uh, wrapping them up in bubble wrap. And Shue, he's got that opening, no problem. Interesting conversation, you know, Brolan was talked about quite a bit on the desk about how uh, Fully cool. that first map wasn't particularly good. Jason, they, they had a sort of low light reel. They showed all his deaths on the desk. Two kills. I like the, I like the idea of like Shox uh, of FBI walking up to Brolin to try and get interviewed. He's, he's like, like, no. No, I don't want to talk. <laughs> <laughs> that seems but, funny. But that's the thing. The thing about Brolin is I don't know if, what that Brolin means. Brolin had like, four kills. Blat did not want to talk after that. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to talk because I'm that's playing funny. bad. He's just like, no, I'd rather go stand in the rain. I'm good. <laughs> Not being one, uh, I feel like we've maybe heard a couple of sentences from him over the years, and he's been in the sea for a very long time now. Yeah. It's something about Swedish players and people just talking about the fact that, you know, they're the young up-and-coming players forever. Well, we're up and coming into this eight Here we site. go. Palace Pop, who which is the only one, and boy, does he get over Ram. Nice electronic. From electronic. But he's got to hold on until reinforcements arrive. Sloppy but good. Control to grab Shuhei as well. And ooh, that's a pretty decent stop of this execute. Yeah, good flash up too here from Electronic. It's going to hold them back. Axel's got that headshot exertions down. And so far, not so good for Malice, but those kills are going to come back and put them in a winnable position once again. 2v2, but Bomb is down just outside Palace. I, and they've got to go back and get that. I don't Should know if they easy. realize it, Cloud9, if the bomb is there. Axel, surely he would, he about would to find see it out. on the radar. Maybe bomb. not, but he's looking for Torji. Knife out, not ready for the Had fight. Had a knife out to last second. Yeah, and he's a long way off. He's so far away, in fact. And fortunate for him, there's a full minute left on this clock. So Yimfat's huh. going to run all the way through T-spawn. But he's got quite the clutch ahead of him. Let's see yeah, a jumble. I, the problem, the, the thing that sucks the most is there's no way the internal clock of Cloud9 doesn't doesn't trigger, and they're already watching for both their flanks. Perfecto's got Palace smoked off. Axal can just drop a Molotov on spot, and then they can jump. Uh, oh, no, he can't. He's dropped on spot. You he win this, Perfecto. You're not losing to Jimbo in a 1v1. There's time here for Yin Fat, and he is so good. Oh, I hate HP. Hits the headshot. Nice try in the chat for Jimbo. Down. Perfecto has to win the 1v1. That damn Galil is what he's saying right now. A dink not the cleanup after the fact. A nice attempt. That's a disgusting shot on Exile. V2. But in a grander sense, Malice is going to be frustrated. You do a palace pop like this, you get that first kill inside the bomb site, and it feels like you're just poised for success. That's usually the kill that gets these these kind of waterfalls hung yeah, up, man. but they, they find it and still can't win out at the end of the day. Good recovery from Electronic at that A-bomb site. Yeah, their waterfall dried up, and so will their cash if they lose this round over on Mouse. They pulled out a Krieg in the hands of Torzi. I think this is the first time I've personally seen the Krieg in the event so far. Is so it Per Kelle or Per Kelle? Where do they go? Because Axel and Hobbit are already pushing B-Halls. They're already shrinking this map. Electronic's pushing middle, and he's going to grab a kill. Now they know. It's all on Boomage up from Both? above. Oh, oh. on the ladder. Not Why did the Finns roll the R like that? They rolled the R, no? Like a pirate. Para headshots, you love to see that. Torrella. Vitru. No, actually, no. Vitru. Perkelella. Why do they start like that? I love that. You're such a distraction and stay alive just long enough to make those kills easy for Perfecto. As everyone's swinging to take him down in dark. Or on top of Balcony. Perfecto's got an easy one in the back and able to recover in time for Suhei. <laughs> Rotisserie chicken. That's a classic. Like, I know that word. Two it's two. nice. Rolling the R. Blocks. It's kind of boss. Miles are broken down. And you did mention it just moments ago when they won the pistol, Jason. You said that's exactly how Overpass started. Yeah, when the first Tardia. two rounds of that was seven straight for Cloud9. Well, Miles is sick. They're desperately hoping that it doesn't become just a reality glizzies. again. What are they going to do? Axel with that headshot on Brolin. Would be fantastic to see Axel stay in this kind of form going into the second map two out of overpass. But again, I think that interesting talking point you brought up over on overpass, the fact that you want to see Xerxine 
get involved, be that aggressive player. I think that's even more of an emphasis here on Mirage because the T side of Mirage is where I think I've seen the most statement performances from him. Getting into the window, Ooh, getting into yeah, the connector. Clean. In these positions, he can cause so many problems for his opponent. Yeah, he's one of those players who really likes to make plays, as you said, in window, moving up con and wrapping in towards jungle and kind of really exploit that kind of seam that's created uh, due to movement of the defense. So uh, if he can be effective there, it, it would be massive. It's going to be it's going to be a big challenge for him. Got Electronic hovering around those locations on this map as well. And with all his experience and his game sense and knowledge and just his raw ability, Exertion's going to have his work cut out for him in this half. Pit stream when? What type of pit? High pixel pit or? We've all been there. Sticker craft pit. Blocking each other in spawn. An exile. He's got those swift moves. He's out short. He's jumped through the window to get here. Sticker craft pit opponent. when new stickers get released. AK very soon, on. surely. Will. Takes out Electronic who swings into mid. Important trend nice. to Max Solid. It's followed up. I don't know how he was able to transition his crosshair up and get away with a second there. He should have been traded, absolutely. Yeah, that was Shuhei. Oh, look at Brolin. <laughs> he's in the done. middle of the site, and that's a big headshot. Not only that, but look We're at the space away. he's got now. Yeah, so is the bomb, bomb, though. Over. We have time to yeah, rotate. that shot is from Shuhei, and, and I've noticed a couple. He also missed a spray on a Perfecto earlier from this position that Perfecto's in right now. Ooh. Brolin's going to just lock down CT. Now he's got a teammate inside a connector. Smoke goes out towards CT, and Brolin's going to peek with it. Climbs over Ticket. Has exile. Look in behind it. And Exile... Oh. So start pulling the pin in the utility. Oh. Roland now knows exactly. Oh my days! Oh my days! His opponent is, and he unleashes nice. for the kill. Couldn't quite transfer to Perfecto, who keeps this one even. And Cloud Nine is available on Perfecto. We have this, a smoke as well. Still so far away. He's only in the under. Hobbit may get a freebie on uh, like Jimbo. He has the best weapon to play with here in his hands and currently. Dead. He's got the up on Jim Fat, who's not ready for this. Hobbit locks that in, and smoke now it's just Torsi left alone in a one v two. Smoke that she off. Smoke that bomb and create so much pressure. Bang! They don't even need it in the end. And Hobbit lands the headshot. Damn, those are some great jewel. I mean, the, the flank is nice and easy, but that follow-up shot from Hobbit is beautiful. You're right, didn't even need the smoke whatsoever. Perfecto gets to hold on to that. In another situation that Mouse is going to feel like we gave ourselves the advantage, we got ourselves in everything we could have wanted, and still aren't able to pull it out. I'm not sure that one-for-one -one trade in CT with Brolin was really worth it. He wanted more than one from that kind of an angle over the top of the smoke, but it being blown open changed the nature of his play. Chat, if you're well, unaware, Cyclone's got to get on the mic again. Navi vs Apex elimination game Doesn't after this. Too concerned quite yet. Navi needs us today. You understand? He gives a massage to the player he wants to stop. My up. days. I've noticed, you know, last and we all know how good line. Apex yeah, is. Last, last they speed one of the best teams you know, in Counter Strike too. It's on to you now, buddy. They eliminated the big the powers on to the shoulder massage. I am now scared for Navi. Performance. Yeah. Well, they might want map one Shui back. He was getting some opening kills. He was hitting some bangers, some nice headshots. This one, as I mentioned, is the prediction still open the way. Two, at Last least chance. two, maybe three important kills and trade kills. Sat at one and six, the captain of Maus. Two Galil's rest pistols. Shades of overpass. What? Mounds look to try and change that. A big win here would really help the economy. And it's so hard. Again, like, this team is still really... Oh, good flash. Good yeah. flash. Great peek. Easy double kill. So easy. Yeah, you gotta like those if there you're electronic. That was one of the as well. Not if you're Mouse. Definitely not if you're Mouse. And it doesn't get much better for them until this shot from Shuei. Electronic goes back for thirds. Maybe a little too greedy. And you end up going down, so... Down to three players now, Mouse. Look how confident the Cloud Nines being. They're just they're oh, aggressively taking fights. Yeah, this is the second time he's found this like lurk kill towards the A bomb site. He's hitting some nice timings on Boomich, who's probably getting increasingly I love that frustrated. Value. The bomb and Torji are on the other side of the map over in B halls, though. So I think they're going <laughs> to. Oh! Oh, he's got another one. Ooh, that's an early little angle, and I love that from Brolin. That's pulled a kill in, and now it might start to pull another player away. And sure, I, the bomb is coming uh, back through the underpass. There's a better weapon on the ground, too. The electronic left earlier, and you can get that Didn't in the hands of Torsi. So this round now becomes very doable for Mouse at the 36-second mark.
Oh, so risky. Agzal's got to go back and consider the B bomb site, though. So that was the pressure on Catwalk. I actually thought coming back to A was the wrong idea. But Agzal gets pulled back, thinking this is going to be a fake. Even smokes Catwalk off. Ugh, so Mal's a have play. a plan. If you if you drop this one, this is a knockout punch if you can't win this nice. one Mal's. But Hobbit is so short two v two. today. Another headshot comes in. And that's Brolin gone without issue. A 2v2. And remember, Hobbit has a little bit of utility. Uh, but Axel's got the kid. Timing. Come out window. Here's that no. drop down. Axel thought it was safe. Thought he could reload. But he is mistaken. And now Hobbit does not have a kit. And the chances of winning this round are very slim indeed. Time AK, is ticking Bob. on. And Hobbit realizes that. He'll throw the flash over. Poor Hobbit, Smoke man. goes out. Poor and he's Hobbit. had enough. He's going to back away from this one, and Maus do pick it up. We were just saying at the start of this how important that could be for the economy game, and it has allowed that economy to now grow. They're going to have a lot more cash available, and if they get this kill on Hobbit, that would be <laughs> electronic. Lose the AK-47, and they do eventually drop that out of his hands. Really important plan, well, guys. Congratulations going around the mouse camp. What the fuck this is, is this? Again, Are we solving math questions? Are we playing Counter Strike wow. fucking two, bro? <laughs> I haven't seen that angle used in a while. Really good stuff from Brolin. Lock in C9. Uh, as I said, that's the second time he's found. We saw in the previous round that they lost in the post plant as well. Found a good lurk up the A ramp. This time it's out of Palace that he drops into the site. That's twice now he's had Boomich's number and given Mal's an opening into a bomb plant. It's Cloud9 who sit on a. Uh, I don't know, I guess I guess kind of weird funds. Perfecto's rich, so he's gonna drop guns over. There'll be another buy for the Cloud9 defense. She's so as tough as math, that's to why you suck. I'm actually good at math. Like actually that bro. chicken's seen stuff. Yeah, it looks like it. It's been all around the world. Nah, for real, for real, bro. Four to three now. I know it all, man. From 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 Matt ma Matrixes. That was such an important Matrixen round. To it definitely is. Let's statistics. see if they can build on it. It would be devastating to win that kind of round and then immediately get easy, slapped Kurt. back down to reality. Exertion going out middle. Eight we times seven, 56, like, bro. Some of these solo plays, and he is dead before he even gets around the corner. And now Maus have to accelerate into this B-bomb site. At the front of the attack is Yim Fat, and what a shot! Flying wow. out, Hobbit couldn't do anything now. He has gone completely destroyed. And Torsi throwing the ball on over, giving it to someone else because he feels like he's got a chance to take down a player crossing over, and that's exactly what happens. Smoke doesn't bloom in time, and Electronic gets picked out. Yeah, this round is toast. A good dink on the gym pad, but oh, you're not getting out of that market. Yeah, you're going to bail out. I, I don't even know how that entrance works. They call that the boomer killer. I, I'm just confused. It's mind blowing. <laughs> Perhaps it'll make more sense. Said y'all also good at surfing, and like I proved it right after, didn't I? Millisecond on the platform to give himself accuracy and lands the Thank shot. Thank you for reminding me. I don't think so. I think I think you're just making things up now. You're trying to justify it. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's what happens, isn't it? That's I, that's life. That taking that kind of a kill as Hobbit is that'll make you feel old. All right, Axel. 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 Oh no, man. Out. Brolin takes him out and. Mounds are very much locked in now at the start of Mirage. A better start to the game. Here we go. Nope, yeah, nope, was, that was BS, Jason. There was no stopping. No. There was not a single stop. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. Oh, I feel for Hobbit. Shit. You can't even compete against that, really. No, we've all been there. Ferrari peak. Well, you get a couple of those and things start looking nice. It's uh, Cloud9 who have to descend to the pistols. Easy. They invested everything in that previous round and got nothing. So Mal's hitting a nice streak, hitting their stride. Ooh, the collection of pistols. They're not short. The pistolas looking to bestow a kill upon exertion. And that's exactly what happens. Electronic. Gets away with that, but Miles are still prizing this B bomb site, and, and I feel like they do have an opportunity, but there's no need to commit anywhere just yet. So they're gonna slow a little bit down and get another kill here. And multiple players spotted in towards this B bomb site at this point. Shua is trying to help his teammates, and then the but we're putting up a fight, and that is enough to close up and give themselves the lead. Four to five on their map pack. Let's go, B. But at least we can do this. Did I just hear something about Russian B? I think so. I also think so. We're gonna we can still out. get seven CT rounds as well. Lock that in. could be fun. That could be exciting. Let's hope Cloud9 didn't hear it. They're calling for that, the old Jimmy entrance, they call it. The Jimmy jump. The Jimmy enter. Guys, did you like, did you like oh. mathematics in high school? 
I swear on oh, God, it was fun, no? Well, like if, it at if, the moment. Hobbit once you got it, defend, who they slow it down. It's not a full that shit was Looking fun. For timing to execute, perhaps after the Molotov. Yeah, just wet out the utility, and then you can go with a bang. It's a very deep Molotov. All right, Hobbit. And hope he has a better time. It's always about timing on these like jump spots. Like when do you actually see him? He saw him try Unimath. I had Unimath. That shit fucked me in the ass, bro. Back further into the side. Electronic trying to help from short. Axile was there too, but no kills coming in yet for Cloud9. Is there any kills to be had? Nice. Hobbit steps up finally. Perfecto chimes in with the AWP two on that CT side, and Hobbit is dancing with death. He's got a good angle here, but couldn't spot Brolin through the whispers of the smoke. And Torsi's got that flank. Boomwich thinks he's got the play, but he's mistaken. Torsi's locked that frag in, and that's the Mouse ball. plays it clean, and man. Back through the underpass. And look at Shui. He's 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 checkmate. This is great. Brolin's just gonna stick around at this B bomb site and hide and be a nuisance. They go to they open might bomb think he's site A. But how do you get past Shui? You have to go CT spawn. Torji's going to get a bomb plant front to the site. He can even fall all the Please way back Hobbit. towards Khan. Oh, yeah, free man. kill for Hobbit. Peaks out just as Brolin looks away. Perfecto's almost already there. And absolutely. Now, Miles are in a very solid position to try and close this one out. Torsi has a no deep angle currently. towards CT. And Perfecto's peak. Sick Nine. flashbang. That's going to get Torsi off the angle. And Shui is still inside of jungle. And Torsi surely gets a chance again to land no. with the shadow, the bedding out of the shot again. Torsi's under two. pressure. Perfect nice. Get around no, the not back. nice. Shui Wrong team. Double head shot. Oh, what man. a play in this round from Shue. Yeah, Torsi could never get a comfortable angle after his flashed off CT spawn. But that is a nice round from Shue. It's a nice round inside that B bomb site as well. It doesn't go exactly as planned, exactly as designed. Hobbit's defensive smoke gave him a lot of maneuverability at that B bomb site. But Shue's found the escape route and called the boys over. Two round lead. Looks like the rain did him a little bit of good. It did. Here we go. It really did. Osmosis. Going through the skin. As Malice get back into this. Mirage, a much better showing so far. And the pistols, they don't look like they're uh, going to amount to too Ooh. much. Thanks to Jimmy's headshot. Fuck, man. Damn, he's sharp, isn't he? Yeah, he's on one. We need the round rolling. after this. They're coming at you. Whoopsie. Nope, he's dead. He's gone, and that's an AK-47. Hold yeah, up. Yeah, and I, I, I don't... I, Zershin's gonna lurk through this con smoke. Up catwalk we go with Shuhei and Torji. They're gonna peek into that B bomb site. Exertion's gotta be real careful. There's three players there ready to party. Oh, Perfecto! Oh, he loves a party, and here he goes. Oh. Eagle out. It's an eagle party. Bomb just spotted. Rotation on the way. Torji, Exertion, come back for a couple. So we're now None of the scavenged rifles are left. Face the ace. Back, dealing damage on 2v2. Desertion. Hobbit's locked that in on the 5-7. And he'll slip away. He gets the upgrade this time. And that bomb's down on the B-bomb site. And Yimfat, he's just fragged An AK, He's though. just unforgiving. We didn't invest a lot. As he gets that kill from ladder room and drops down. Doesn't give the second opportunity to be traded. And Hobbit doesn't have the kit, nor does he have the ground to get back into this. So he's just hoping he gets a mistake. He'll carry that AK over into the next round. And we're taking seven onto the board here for Mouse. Yeah, he could have gone for it because we're going to be buying in the next round anyways. But obviously that AK-47, that one bullet headshot is strong. So he'll just keep it. It was a low percentage chance anyways. But oh, here's Jimmy. Going to buy regardless. Hobbit, yeah, one please. kill in garbage time would be nice. And nice. He's got yeah. So best Cloud9 well, can do Hobbit. is five. And no. no. That AK taken away. Ooh. Again, not a huge deal. Because they have a full losing bonus. They've got plenty of money. It just would have been nice. Yeah, it still hurts to feel like you just wasted time uh, in the end. Precious seconds, you won't get back. Yep. But uh, Yimfa is just so good today. He's still good all well, the I'm time. I'm rooting for C9. That he's what? So finished. That's my favorite thing about him. Of course, <laughs> you know, man. The podcast he was doing in the content piece, he's like, he's just so honest about, yeah, maybe it's good. Um, maybe it's I not. very maybe rarely cheer for Mouse. Like, I'm worrying about Jimmy now. Yeah. Nothing yeah, personal. Uh, he was stuck. He said that Mouse was going to make uh, six roster changes this year. <laughs> L. So, okay, and take from that what you will. Insider information. Second time I use uh, for Mal's heading into this final round of the first half, despite the fact that they're on a uh, five-round streak. So Cyclone just uh, not being cautious, just saying we well, I want this last round. One team that I really need to win Let's today is Navi, bro. Possibly can. Wow, little head rub. Bro. Wish I could get <laughs> massages while I work. <laughs> no, I'm good. No. I'm not helping you out. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Bro. Get Lauders in here early. Not right now. Have you heard him? He's got. Oh. Want, I don't want to eat what he's got. That's strong hands. Boom sure last one in ten I'm right sure now. Does. I didn't even realize that is a problem. He's got the uh, the scope over here towards ramp this time around. Boomich has had a rough old time of things on the CT side. One kill. Oh, man, he's playing like hot the, ass. The 
of the defense. He's just falling apart all the time. Oh, and here's Locked this continuation. Oh, hold the phone. They're going to walk right through this smoke. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come yeah, on. Activate your safe again. Nice. Nice. Oh, good follow up, Dick, and Axel cleans it up. Yeah, and not perfect. 5v3. On the stairway has got the AWP ready to go. I was going to say, it's the Why interesting the continuation of the, of the op conversation with Cloud9, because we obviously saw Boomich use it on Overpass. Here on, on Mirage, it's been Perfecto picking it up, so passing the op, and, uh, you know, based off who feels more like comfortable that. on the map. And Boomich obviously playing an A anchor role. I just think Boomich is the better opper, though. Same. He's uh, shown some prowess over on Overpass. It was a tough question to have to answer. I'm sure he's got himself towards Sandwich. 50, 50 seconds, seconds left in this round, and Maus are creeping ever closer to this A bomb side. They're limited for choice. They have to go here. Can a brother get a flashbang to turn this corner? Nope. He's dead. Nice. Boom, nice back. Captain back. The open Zershin leaps out of Palace. It's an important kill, but many more need to come through. And leaping over the stairway. What a shot from Torsi. Oh, oh my god. He nearly had a chance to bring down I more. Thought. But a 7 5. Maus still hold the lead. They've come back in. They look locked in. And let's see it's if we can It's five rounds three. possible. How good is our T side? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I need a good song for this break. Let me see. No. Give me a banger. Mm, no. That's a classic. Um, boys, right after this. I will mention it for the last time. Navi vs Apex elimination game. It seems crazy. For whatever reason, Navi is already facing elimination at IM Kerovice. It may be one of the quickest tournaments for them. Hello and bye bye. All right. Why are they in this position? Because they got donked yesterday. They got fucking donked. Okay. Um. Let's see how they do against Apex, and then we have as well after that, um, either Falcons elimination or. Face Clan vs Eternal Fire, boys and girls. Yeah. Bang. <clears throat> Not too shabby of a game as well. Mm. Let me see. While we wait, we need to check the Global Offensive Reddit. We need to, bro. Nukebuck! Oh, shit. Can I do this in time? <clears throat> I got this. I got this. I'm a good fucking player. I got this. I'll show you the craziest nuke bug. I invented this off stream. Watch. If you use the bug, make sure to type in the chat. Like, if you play against the team and you use it, type like, yo, I found this on a pixel stream. <sighs> One minute. Watch this. Um. Forward space and hold crouch. Watch this. I'm even gonna keep the bots alive. That was a lie. <clears throat> Gear up. We're going in. <laughs> Why does bunny helping not work? <laughs> Let's go. Watch this, watch this. Oh! And then what? That was dumb. Do I need to open this? What? Dude, I just need to open it, no? Fucking A! I'll do it in the last one. Rub 7-5, Boomich is okay. We've assessed him for head injuries and we're good to go. I'll show Maybe you after this, bro. Here, Jason. Yeah, he's gonna I'll show you after this, bro. Well against this mouse team because they put up a very good number of rounds on their own offensive half as they switch What did I do wrong? 
Julie's on exertion on Torji. Torji's got 14 kills. 14 kills, five deaths. That op difference hitting hard. It's hard to do. Big time, and it could it could get worse. That's the that's the yeah, case here on be. the CT side, right? We're gonna see towards you be a little bit more comfortable on the defense. So let's see how this goes. It's Cloud Nine walking over with three players on this B bomb site. Oh, I see I, it. Two players on the B bomb site. Three players at A. I can't tell if this is gonna be a fake. Nah, or... I got this. Yeah, it's gotta be a fake. Here we go up the ramp. Hobbit and Boomich making progress. Oh, everyone's biting. Everyone's biting. Oh, Torzi. Good first kill. Could have uh -huh. got the second. Did a lot of damage, but Brolin was the player to finish that off. And here comes that maneuver into the B-bomb site for Cloud9. They put the ball Cloud down. Cloud9, man. We need Mouse the pistol. started with the right amount of players on this side of the map. And here comes Shuei through short, looking to try and get in behind. Go crazy, Axel's please. just chilling, waiting to stop him from getting out of the market. Oh. But the uh, jump out from... Two before. Fact. Electronic hour clutch. Mice are still alive. Some mad moves Nine. And he's got another headshot. It's perfecto. Just perfecto. Bomb is halfway left. down. And that defuse is already he being stuck around shit, the corner. Bro. He's fat oh looking to lock days. that in. It's and he perfect from house. Yeah, towards he's fired up with that one. And Yimfa again, just he's finding some serious impact. Yeah, he really is. That's the first time I think Yo, I've seen We need some Cyclone massages over here, man. He's, he's like, okay, they're awake, they're loud, they got some energy to them. The fact that this fake doesn't get them any kills is, is so is so rough. They need to alleviate some of the pressure when the when the rotation comes back. And the fact the kills come in so quick huh. allows Cloud or allows Mouse to stick around and mark it and actually spot out where that plant is gonna be fast enough to relocate. Nah. Good information gathering from the market is window. You saw one at bench, you saw one shifting over towards Cat walk so you're able to kind of zero in you know one's going to be coming back from the a bomb site mouse knew everything on that retake axel has a little peek around the corner good shot on the deagle it is just one as brolin gets an important one is okay. trade not to let that one unravel yeah, but that's not bad when you consider there's an AK-47 on the board in the hands of Electronic. You get one Deagle kill, forces the defense to spread a little bit. I say that, but no one's sticking around with the A-bomb site. Two players coming up to Khan. Good trade from okay, Torji, two but two. it's still working out in the favor. A two-on-two. Two. Cloud9's going to be very happy with this so far. I can't believe Electronic got that headshot. It looked like he was going to go down without a single kill, but Electronic's so damn good. He manages one. Hobbit. Close up to that smoke. Now he's the AK bearer. He's got himself a position Whoa. too that could take exertion out of this round because he's always aggressive and sometimes it works against him. One down. It's, a, it's a long range MP9. Eight bullets. No way! So confident. He takes every the second he time that Jimbo fucks Hobbit in a 1v1. Yeah, he's feeling it. He's just making decisions so fast That's and total. sticking to it and doing it 110%. Beautiful clutch from you, Jimmy. 14 and 10 and the defuse, and he's going to keep Mal's up by four. However, that's a very costly victory. Mal's going to have to reinvest everything. So if you're Cloud9, again, we talk about this all the time. This isn't a disappointing loss. You'd like to have it, but you know their economy is a breaking <laughs> position. So there's no time reaction. for despair. Cloud9 buy back right into it. Well, let's see how Boomich starts calling this T-side then in the gun rounds. Torsi does have that AWP. Full AKs on C9. If we can make our equal that close. We can make this half devastating for Cloud9. We and should Shuei be able to fuck them with our rifles. Pass. Come on. He's not going to continue his run. He just wants to position himself here early. Nice, and Boomla. Brolin is down. A straight up fight with a rifle between Boomich and Brolin. And it's Cloud9 that come out on top of that first fight, but the second is evened out. Yeah, but Shui doesn't have an escape route. <laughs> oh, but he's going forward. <laughs> yeah, but he's, there's no way. Uh, he had two behind him. He had Boomich coming up as well. And I mean, because of his teammate going down in window, didn't feel like he could escape through middle. So he was just a sacrificial lamb. We see that that spot in window, the spamming over the top right of the smoke from the CT perspective, is it's being used by pretty much everyone. And I, we saw it in the first half. Mal's on their T side tried to pre-fire it this time as well. Boomich goes for it, and Boomich was actually successful with it, but. People are very conscious of how, how dangerous and how effective that position is. And it feels like almost a 50-50 fight at this point. Cloud9 settling back into middle with that player advantage. They've parked Axel outside of the apartments. And three players are about to walk towards Exertion, and he doesn't have any help from that A-bomb side. That smoke will make sure of that. So he's locked into a fight here, and he's got to win it, nice. and he won't. Boomich is so sharp on that headshot, and now it's Yimfat. He has been so incredible so far on this map, but this round will be just as nice. far. And that's exactly what it is. We Alec can Jones bring this back and end this in two. Towards he has to save the AWP on the other side of the map. 
And six rounds for Cloud9. That's a good first gun round showing here on the T side. Good pathing for Boomich as well. And, and Cloud9, as they move up catwalk, Bo Boomich swings to the yes, left. Yes, we can. While, the, while his teammate swings into dark Exile. So even if Exile doesn't win that fight. That was a Boomla double double. Almost win, doubled his kills. Jimmy no matter what. So Torji's if Boomla goes boss off, mode. Cloud9's on the hunt. Yeah, they are. Oh, my. Uh, that's the Boomla we need. Damn sharp in this round. Start That's feeling yourself, one. Habibi. And that is huge because you take that all out of Torsi's hands and there's no money left for Maus. They're in double eco territories. They're going to have to force into pistols and Cloud9 have given themselves a runway. This is how it started for Boomich. That first kill into the window nice. you mentioned earlier, Jason. It's not Jimbo's first, first fucking appearance. Are you dumb? And then that's just a bonus you can't game. compare that's this Jimbo game versus the dunk game yesterday. Are Maus. you crazy? They back down to an eco and Cloud9 should be one step away from They've tying so many fucking important tournaments already for Dunker was his premiere. Y'all are crazy. Not a whole lot of utility thrown as what we're used to seeing. They're happy to take these fights. Oh, so isn't Jimbo dry. 35? They're hoping that Mal's take these fights. Yeah, they obviously will come out more favored Cloud9, and that's exactly how it's gone down. Boomich Locked is in. taking that first kill. You know, I'm so glad we got Boomich back. You know, it, yeah. it, it was such a... Yeah, did you miss him? I did. I did. He's a great personality. Don't let him get a double-double. Style of play to the server. It's great to nice. see him back in the server with Cloud9. I mean, obviously relatively limited um, in which teams he could have called for, but it was it was weird be... seeing him... It was weird getting the sense that he didn't seem to have a whole lot of value across... Bruh! God, Brolin. That's a lot of value out of a 5-7. What the frick? It shouldn't have happened. It should not have happened. And he somehow got himself a couple out of it. So damage control now for Cloud9. They've got to recover this. And they're sprinting to that B-bomb side. Fortunately, it's empty. And Boomich is going to be the man to carry the package. He's going to put that down for short. And Axel will have a good post plan We're to both try and chunked close up, this though. one out. There is a smoke available for Yim Fat, But the lack of kit might cost Maus here on this fourth by oh, Oh, thank here God. 7 HP. Boomich, but he's got moves. And he How many clutches can Jumbo get? No way. He predicts oh. And nearly gets a chance. He needed one deagle bullet. Uh, bullet. And win the fourth by. It gets scary for Cloud9. But they get the chase. job done. What's Boomich doing? Boomich is running around without a care in the world. Jumping off van. Taking peaks with like red HP. He almost, he almost really sold Cloud9 down the river in that round. Nine to seven. A two round lead, but this got dicey. This got interesting all of a sudden. Good shooting from Brolin with the five seven at distance as well. Doing damage, taking kills. Thankfully, Axile's there to hang on. 15 kills for Axile. Putting together a good series when you consider how strong he was on overpass as well. Only USPs for Mouths. Yeah. Full you have to remember this Mao's team too is like uh I don't know, it's it's it, it, transition, not rebuilding. I don't know what word you want to use for it, but they're still trying to figure out exactly what the future is gonna look like without Frozen, trying to fill the gap that he left and going to phase. I don't yeah, it's such a big gap that you need such a big player to fill it. Oh. And brawling it that just yet. Zershin nah, with nah, a nice nah. headshot. Boomich is gone. That's an AK-47. How was Mouse so good on pistols today? last two rounds of pistols. A little exciting. Maybe a step away from this one being scary, but... As long as it's not a complete disaster, because Cloud9 have, have access. Nah! Oh, no. Oh, God, it's starting to look like These a are disaster. Oosts. Oh, it definitely is. Disaster setting in. Cloud9, to be far. Do Clean up squad. The response? Do they have it in Clean up squad. Gang, gang. Got a double out to his default, what? It's all over just like that. Full USPs. Full and equal. Now pick it up. Shout out to Exertion. The one kill in middle to scavenge the AK-47. Proof of Slabagasset. God, you gotta get Groove on the mic for that one. You need a calming presence. That was shit. <laughs> that is so ridiculous. Yeah, that's a gut punch for Cloud9. That seemed like they were just marching forward to looking like they were gonna be able to tie things up or just, just kind of cut away at this lead. And boy, does that get turned around. A great round for Exertion. Three kills overall. And a massive speed bump for Cloud9. They look like they were right back on track, tying this game up. One more massage, I'm gonna snap. How is this allowed? And we saw shades of it. We saw some potential in the previous round. Tell him, Over referee. The five seven was like, "What well, make this round interesting too?" Sure, but that's for the five seven. Yeah, here you can somewhat understand that, but full USPs, definitely not. Problem now is his money is is a bit dicey for Cloud9. They'll get two AK 47s. Excuse me, one AK 47 and three Galils because uh, they want a little bit more utility on Boomich. Back ten on Hobbit. You just force Mouse into a double save scenario and then into this. 
Oh, it's not pretty, but it's something for Cloud9. The amount of skill they pack into this team, you know they can get the job done with inferior weapons. To Usps. Next game, Navi elimination. Monka S. Man, I want to no, Monka W. Opportunity, though. Fat jumping detects Axile, who does some damage. Young Fat's still jumping. <laughs> still doing it. So. He's like, come on, give me one more. And the Jimmy jump. Third time's the charm. Uh-oh. Oh, Don't get scammed, Mr. Fat. And that's enough to stop Jimmy from going for those spots. And Cloud9 getting into this round so tentatively, you know, really slow start, building into it, and now looking into mid control. I think both teams have an understanding of how, how critical this round is, especially to Cloud9. Everyone's kind of playing it passive and conservative. Nobody wants to give up a mistake. Seconds. Nobody wants to give up a kill on an aggressive play. Over the edge of the smoke, that's beautiful for Shui. It really is, and that's going to work out. Hobbit. Didn't have a chance in hell to pick up that fight. And Shuei's come back into the ladder room for a second of this round. Eventually, it's Bring overrun it back. by Perfecto, but it's Axel jumping out of the apartments, trying to get some control here for Axel. Cloud9. Needs some kills to go his way, though. And that might just be the fight, but Yunfat picks it up and puts Perfecto into the 1v3, one that he That's will not man. even take the first step in. 11 rounds from hours. They stop that round from going Cloud9's way, and this really starts to look like ancient. That's such a nice Bro. set of protocols over on Catwalk. Shui gets this kill over the smoke, and then his teammate peeks off Catwalk. That's exertion to go one for one and just thin things out to allow Shui to get one more. That's so much resistance on Catwalk where Cloud9 didn't expect it. And it's a four round lead. Yeah, that is frustrating for Axel because he's got to know if he it wins that fight like first, that, fat, that round becomes so Edgar, doable. I did not run in that, bro. coming in short. And it was a fair fight. He did definitely have a, sh uh, a shot at winning that one. And this is why it was so Bro. important. Just look at the buy coming in. No armor. Three P250s. Huh? That's it for Cloud9. That's all they can bring forward into this round. And what a turnaround. Mao's winning a full USP round and looking like they're just going to run the scoreboard after that to close out this map. You know what's better than a full USP round? A full clock round. Yeah. Yeah, but we're Cloud9. I can't remember the last time I've seen one of those one. Can't remember the last time I've even just seen one of those. Yeah, they don't happen very often at all. And that's Bruh. why. Uh, because Yimfat just mauls them. That's four kills. Axel signing. Nope, you're not getting it. Game Allegiant 1 already? No, Two nil. Map. God damn. Them instead. And that's what will happen. So 12 rounds for Maus. Map point. Ancient is the next map. How do you feel if we go to three? Ouch, do you feel like the? Who do you feel like is favored? Maus or, or Cloud9 heading into that third map? What's that uh, map? I don't know. I, I think with the, I mean, uh, it's so hard to tell because both these maps have been like, Mouse was sleeping on the first one. Ancient. Now they're kind of awake and just piling on. I, I, I would put this more towards Mouse just because I, yeah. I'll be honest with you. The play in stage really, really hurt my confidence with Cloud9. Really, really hurt my belief. Uh, yeah, it's hard to believe in them consistently. We don't have a fucking main all plan. It's ancient. Result, so. Had to wait and see how this one transpires. This game could have been Boombla not feeling the RBP Mirage. right now. Gave it to perfect. Is, is perfect to always to open Mirage? So. Cloud nine how does it make sense, bro? It's a pretty nice call, though, into this defense. Let the it's a very passive warm up, like, in the and then we switch it from map to map. They'll have decisions to make when no utility way. streams over on how they decide to be aggressive and how they try and do a little bit of damage. They're exiting Palace right now. Cloud9 going into this. It's Brolin with the first kill, but Hobbit is quick to answer back. Cloud9 needs to make some ground up here, though, so a little bit of a lull in the action. He takes some space, but that gap, oh, I thought, miss. Torzi was going to want that kill in. Absolutely, but the plant goes forward. That grenade might be Hobby. good, and it is. It sinks Hobbit, not before he takes a kill, though. And we're still even on this retake attempt. Ah, uh, just go next. got more to say in this round. Yeah, he's, he's waiting brewing. for his moment. He's being so incredible on Mirage. It's got to be a flank from Shuei first, though. Perfecto's got eyes on it, and he wins the fight. Now it might be time to back away. I don't believe. Yeah, Yimfat, unfortunately, he may have had more in this round, but uh, his teammates certainly don't. And because of that, he can't get into a competitive position, and now he's trapped inside a connector. He uses that Mouse is money away, as well. Or at least attempt to get away, but Axar will chase after him. And it's an eighth round as Cloud9 are on life support. Just four more, nice and easy. Timeout called by Mouse. Third and final, a Cyclone just says, everyone chill. We got plenty of money. We've done a great job up till now. We've had a solid CT side. Buy back up into it and let's get one of these and move on to Ancient.
Well struck round from Cloud9, but that passive defense gave them a nice passageway into the A site. Last Access to CT spawn as well. I start believing in OT at 12 10. Overcome for Mouse as we head into round 21. Op is back out of the hands of Torji. Plenty of nades, plenty of utility. Full buy for both sides. Mouse is not big clan. <laughs> yeah. Shoei hops up into Winzel early on. Oh no, <laughs> he's gonna try and stop that smoke from coming in, but it isn't there. So ends up just burning himself out of the position. <laughs> and Torzi looking into the apartments. Again, it's Jet, a When the smoke comes, you can mully that, so it pops and you have a, you know, like a gap. And there's a little B-stream update for you. Monty, 0-2 versus Gamer no Legion. Mon Monty dropped down to the lower bracket. Gamer Legion's like a real scary team. I liked what I saw at the end of the plan stage. <laughs> the exact, exact opposite of Cloud9. I gained confidence in Gamer Legion with the way oh, they called against VP. Yeah, Snacks, what a, what a great job Silver he's doing teaching. at the Bro. With that Gamer Legion side. Hobbit caught an aid in his back pocket at the start of this round, so he's down to 50. Yeah, not loving it. And he's got to stay on the other side of this wall. The Infat's going to boost Shui up. Hobbit. Again, he used this position earlier, but they're already too far up. They're going through short already. Cloud9 have gained so much control of this map. This might be a surprise for the defense, and it's just towards the over here, and that orb could be overwhelmed very quickly. I'm not so much worried about Torji as I'm worried as I'm rapping behind Shue. He's so focused uh, on the window. If they came up ladder, if any of them investigated ladder room, it'd be no, all over yeah. the boost. The boost ruins him. Should we Shui still alive though? One, but the does he hit the window jump? Until he missed the window jump. Look at him at base stage. Good swing three. from Boomich. They've got to win a disadvantage post plant. Electronic. And that plant is going Bang. to win. Electronic watches back to short. Shui nice. trying to retake from short side. It isn't going to happen for him. Brolin's patient. Electronic goes B Y. Electronic just walks right into him. So it's all on Boomich to keep them in Mirage. Has he Boom got a big They him. don't know about him. So short. Here's those steps, Bro. and he cannot do it. He cannot get it done. Maus will take a Mirage. They will force Ancient in this series. They didn't start the day honed in, but they've woke up. They've woken up, Jason. And now Ancient, it lies in the wings. Ha! Oh, Ancient is gonna be goofy, man. With no main AWP. The final map, it's Maus versus Cloud9, and it's Ancient to decide this mm. one. They called it a close, uh, a rather cold start, Jason, to kick things off, and it absolutely was. It was freezing cold, so they went outside, and they got even colder. They come back in, they win the map, Mirage, and now Maus find themselves on Ancient. Yeah, they really do. Third and deciding map, and it's been a, it's been an interesting series when you think map one, Maus felt like they were sleeping, like they weren't quite arrived yet. Map two, completely different Maus, who shut down Cloud9, who lost the round to all five USPs, so both teams struggling on their opponent's map picks. And now we've got this third decider of Here we go, baby. coming in hot. Mal's taking on C9, C9, of the C9. It's a group stage for both of these teams. It's not C8, fat. not C10, C9. Consistently. 39 kills in the two maps Lock so in, far. baby. And he's going to be under some pressure. We need a strong start. No Exertion way. Break the momentum, please. No, no. Step up and piss around. Oh, my John. man. Yep, that's going to be nice and easy, nice and clean for Mal's to kick things off. And I think when we come on to this map now, you, you do have to favor Mal's uh, with the way they've been performing. They have the AWPer, they had a cold start, but they, they dominated Mirage for that second half. And the fact that Cloud9 were able to lose against full USPs doesn't fill you with a whole lot of confidence. I, I think the problem is like, if, if we didn't, if we hadn't seen such a shaky playing stage from Cloud9, like we probably wouldn't have this kind of feeling of like, oh, shaky Cloud9 is, is, is back. You know, like, 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 like Miles can just take control of a game off one, off one map. Look at Hobbit. But they did have a shaky play in stage, so it, it's hard to kind of uh, it's a French be super up. confident they'll be able to bounce back after a tough loss. Looked like they were getting a little bit frustrated in that previous map. Here around with uh, four Glocks, three Glocks, and a P2, full glizzies. If they can fuck us with full usps, we can fuck him with full glizzies and one Peter Fetty. And Harry just sitting there, not understanding a single thing, and saying that he, he thought they were getting close. I can tell he's close. He knows it, and they're completely talking about the wrong thing. <laughs> it's just a brilliant, brilliant piece. I can't imagine doing trivia in a second language. Oh yeah. Uh, mostly because I don't speak a second language, so I've only got the one. Chua is going to get behind him. Oh, oh, oh you love the dream. 
Yeah, four kill, quad Oy. kill, plenty of money, big smile on his face. That is it's all nice. Going well. Yeah, he loves that. You can see the big smile on his face. That will continue hopefully into this next round. Cloud9 are going to be buying into the AK-47s now. But here we go. You love when you see a huge group of players just like that. You walk in behind them. They all have their knives out. They're all quick switching. And you just hold down mouse one. Armed, Doesn't get easier bro. than that. All the money in the world for Shue. He's five and zero, and, and a good start here for Maus. But they, they've been able to win most of the pistols to kick off these maps and convert it. It's the there first gun rounds that Bonus really round on Maus. C9 often. needs this. Deep nades, deep utility, good pressure towards A early on. Torji's heard the footsteps and actually pulled some rotations off of the ledge. Yeah, and then Cloud9 pumps the brakes and slows down. So Mao's got to be careful they don't wheel themselves into some. This is elimination, no. Navi game after this is elimination. Yeah, Navi may fly home the today. Steps, Maybe the last a game of Navi today. Been going for a couple of a shots, just sending where? around the corner. You pump the brakes and you can reset. But Mao seem to have reacted quite well. They've got right deep this control. Map. That, they don't have too much beef presence, though. That early sprint, though, from, from Exile into A main and making those footsteps has kept the second player at the A bomb site this whole round. There's one at the edge of Donut, one Yansu, committed to the A bomb site, two in middle. It's a sole B defender, which is where Cloud9 actually is. So that early fake and early presence has really Wait, made Mao's nervous. Against Apex! Is be that solo B That's Shale's his old team! That he can play That's retake, he can stay at range, I didn't realize. Get that information. But they're not coming up that ramp. Instead, they're Ooh, putting that's pressure a weird one. cave at the moment. For for a limb. Are in, in particular, a miss smoke out long side, and that is going to give a bit of a gap for Brolin, who's detecting all the information and setting up a chance here for Shuei to flank in. They're not going yet, Cloud9, and the longer they wait, the closer Shuei gets in behind That may be them. a very aware game. Could be another devastating play from Shuei, this time against premium weapons, but Perfecto, he's considering this. He's starting to think about a flank, but it's about whether or not he looks the right place at the right time, and he will. He'll turn back for that headshot on Shuei, and Maus now have to retake. I think Shuei might have misplayed that a little bit too fast. Let your teammates who are lining up for this retake take some of the attention, take the brunt of the attack, and you slide in a little bit late. Instead, they've got to go in 4v5 or save. Yeah, here comes Electronic around long side, and he is nice. going to take that fight and win it. Boomich is with him. An exertion of towards the left. Whoa. He hit a two versus three. It's doable, nice. but Hobbit is going to take that no chance theater, away. Baby. Nice shots to close it, so and it important. is the first gun round going Cloud9's way, as it has many times already in this series. Yeah, but they really struggled to get comfortable going into that B bomb site. They, they really felt like that that execute wasn't uh, didn't they did they didn't feel like they had the space. I guess up until Perfecto gets this kills, they were being very slow and cautious, looking for fights. And once that pressure is alleviated from the flank, they're like, all right, well, it's easy now. We know where everyone else is. I felt like Mal's, with the way they were rotating Sorry, and getting information it. and finding positioning on the map, had an advantage up until Shui goes down. A little bit of a painful loss. <clears throat> it was great hearing Maui talk about the impact of Cyclone's timeouts Red on the flex, team. It's not even my knife. Immediately after timeouts, you're That's getting a results. Knife. Yeah, good hearing Maui talk about those big, strong hands. Is, uh, what were they, meat claws? Yeah, uh, meat what? claws. How would you feel if someone said you had nice meat claws, Jason? I'd feel great. I'd take any compliment. Ah, that is the life of a man, Lofton. And here we go. Two to Meet one. Meet Claus. Good start, but... Meet Curtains. If they lose this round, Cloud9 will have tied things up and will likely take the lead following that. And think back to those, uh, you know, as, as fun as, like, a silly of a moment as it is, Shoei getting those... Locked in C9. ...with the MP9 has given him money to drop it off over to Torji. He had so much cash. He was boosted up by Brolin for the early stage of the round, but they don't want to keep that for too long. It's a lot of resources dedicated, so they bust it up and slide into new positions. Not a single eye on mid. Mao was in the previous round. With all the money and all the utility they had, they were able to control mid deep into the round. Triple smokes towards elbow. Prediction able closes. Eventually push. Now, by the way. Get information. Shut the fuck up. You fucking Actually, last one. Just now. Until just now that Torji rotates back. One minute on this clock, and Torzi has nailed that kill right down on Electronic. Bruh. So a good start for the Opera of Maus. A weapon they have that Cloud9 do not possess. It might, it might have caught Electronic off guard, though. The, the uh, weapon is even on the map, considering, it, you know, he might not have thought back to that quad kill and realized that enough bonus money was there to be able to afford it. <laughs>
And you have to worry because a lot of time has elapsed, right? So that orb could have changed that position. It could take a new angle, and it has. It's over towards this B side Umla. of the map now. It's got a good angle on that B star. And that is setting At up least one there. Fire inside of Cave. It's allowing one, for this one, 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 you good. They say is clearing it out. Though. Good damage. It's just a single kill. Shuei takes him out. Three before. This is still winnable. And that smoke is blown open for a moment, but it goes up just as they cross over, and they'll put nice. the down. Important kill for Hobbit too to lock that in against the in-game leader of Maus and a. Three Hobbit, we have the flank. It's about exertion coming Please through Please, no cave. terrible timing or anything. Versus Hobbit. If he can, then it opens up again for Mouse. If he doesn't, then Cloud9 are favorite uh. for this one. And the timing for Hobbit to look away puts Cloud9 under a hell of a lot of pressure. And Axel stuck on deep. 2v2. Out There's no kid. Dealing a lot of damage, but eventually... Perfecto can win this. Himself, and it's Bang! Perfecto. Nice headshot on that. Jimbo slow. And he's not buying it. He is not no buying kid. it all, Jimmy. You're running out of options, he's buddy. He's one of the coolest clusters in the game. And Perfecto, he does not fall. Ford, he'll pick it up and cloud nine tie. Sorry, Dang, kid. Two to two. That was Not a huge today. battle. Cave dictated who was going to win that round. The control of Cave was everything. Back and forth. First, Boomich tries to get it. If he had a kid, bro, that would have been scary. Exertion coming in on the flank to clear out Hobbit. That was massive. And the op can't get involved at any point during that. Torji didn't have an impact on the execute. He was standing out in the open trying to take one shot. He missed it. And at the end, he's just locked out of any impact throughout the entirety of this round. And Cloud9 sent Maus back to pistols. Yeah, it's USPs though, Jason. Fools. It's USPs. Should be flawless, right? <laughs> it started off with a kill for Maus. Second kill in oh, for the no. USP. Not again, not again, not again, not again, not again. Oh my god, Yimfat on the USP has littered the floor, littered the battlefield with spoils. They're better with Oost than the fucking Ops. To pick up and boom it's on recovery Bro, mode. it can happen again. Two times full again. eco. Five USPs in back-to-back -back maps. Cloud9 losing to the default pistols. Perfecto is once again asked Roof to is going to be pissed. More difficult. The opponents left on the other side of the server are short damage. Jimbo 3K. Goods, he's got to get all the way around, pick that bomb up again, and walk into a den of three players holding AK 47s. Tell you what, this is someone's going to be pissed off. Bro. Someone on Cloud9 is going to be pissed off. I think everybody will be watching this. In fact, he will go down. Bring the spec perfect to They're both very low HP. From. Five seconds left in this one. And they have the bomb. They know they have the bomb. They know the bomb's all the way back at T-spawn. But with the time left on the clock, this is really smart for Maus. You know Perfecto, if he's actually going to end up going for this round, you know he's going to attack into the bomb position. So they give it up. They split up into the bomb sites because they know by the time Perfecto clears all these angles uh... and picks up the bomb and gets to a site, there's not going to be enough time for him to be cognizant of everything. And Perfecto, Perfecto just isn't even to going it for it, bro. 39 HP. He's just like, screw it. This round's won by Maus. USP. What the Sounds hell? They already have a case. victories for Mouse. You can't, you can't win series when you lose those kind of rounds. I, look, thankfully, this happens in Mirage. It happened at like a swing a crucial moment. point. Yeah, yeah. this happens early. At least here, uh, if you're, I guess, if you're ever gonna lose one of these rounds, it's early enough that Cloud9 can have a, a round nah. to recover. Mongols would have went for that. Losing a map, going into this, and losing another five USP round. That was certainly a conversation they had between maps. And man, those emotions come flooding back quick. Yeah, it's Yimfat yet again, the player that gets. A sick double tap for the USP that really sets it all up. He also got that nade kill, so it was a 3k for him. With just a default pistol, and, and that's what can happen when you go too early into the elbow and you get crunched like that by a low buy, and, and that's going to be something that's very Ooh, frustrating. That's the person who's tilted. Like electronic. That's Is Pumla the Apple VR yeah, Tesla guy? <laughs> Am I the only one who saw that? <laughs> Swing out, flash sets I guess up. I'm he not. Goes down. Nice shot from <laughs> Bro, Perhaps I need Cloud to show it. can answer back with a weaker purchase. Where is it? Someone posted it. Wasn't that weak. They got, they got some rifles on port two. Oh, good find from Hobbit as he slides out. They've channeled the anger. They've used it to make them stronger. Exertion grabs one, but Torji with a critical miss, and Cloud9's in the driver's seat. Yeah, what a response back here from Cloud9. <laughs> you lose the five USPs, but as soon as you find the next round, you start to forget about it. You're nice. back on track, and you see when Torji missed that, Bro. Ball, his hands immediately went up to his head. He couldn't believe that he missed that. That's him, no? Boss. Not allowed, by the way. As much of an advantage as don't be on drive. Not have that op. 
getting you some kills, getting you some impact here on Ancient, it, it's going to feel devastating for Mouse and devastating especially for Torji. The future? I wonder if these fucking videos are real, where there's someone sitting in a subway with that fucking thing on. That has to be scripted for likes, no? They know that it gets likes, if you look dumb as hell in the fucking subway. No way, people are actually doing it, like going in the gym with it and shit. Good shot from Max Al to really open things up. Punish on the swing, and then Hobbit follows it up, and this is that. I don't buy it. Miss. At least not yet. Yep. Of course, it's America. Ah, <laughs> oh, you may oh, actually have a point. Going right. oh, you just feel... It's, it's so it's, silly. It's a critical miss for going down afterwards because you're obviously going to die after missing that shot, but also losing control of, of Cave, which can be such a, a great advantage to have for CTs in a post plant situation, not allowing over terrorists to overtake that. Yeah. Making it a one Even if they actually didn't why care. Bro, imagine what our future looks like. Well, but Hobbit's going to come right through. It's clean. It's uh, Shuei, though, behind. This just nips with the back of Electronic. Second kill on that CZ. And now it's just down to Perfecto in a clutch. And a 1v4. This game is absolutely back and forth. It's chaos right now, and Perfecto is down to 16 health. Double nade, dunks him out of the round. There's nothing he can do to compete there. Oh, frustrating times here for Cloud9. They can't get a foothold on this T side. Yeah, it's time to buckle in because neither of these teams mm. are going to give up any advantage. That's a great quick flank that screws with I Cloud9. remember the timing of it. when AirPods looked kind of weird, bro. And it was like, what the like, fuck? They have these like beans in their ears. That was the most normal shit ever. The timing on this kind of a flank. Man Those AR headsets, bro. Forward. When you lose that many bodies at the B bomb site, that cave player can't take it as slow as he like. He feels like he needs to get activated earlier to help take over the bomb site, and that opens up the avenue for Shui. Four blocks, one AK. Hobbit with the hero rifle. He's boosted up on that box, Look but Hobbit. no one from Mouse is giving any peaks. No one's giving him a chance in this world to get an opening, and he looks to just get rock boosted into the side. I like this from Cloud9, it's a sick maneuver. They've actually got some space off the back of that. They need a kill, though, and that's exactly what Hobbit's gone and got. He might even get more from this. Well, those teammates aren't going down, and that bomb isn't being planted because look where it is. Hobbit, it's all the way behind nice. The B Hero door, AK so bringing the work in. wait till Axel's able to pick that up and get here, and all that space that you took is completely irrelevant Six because bullets. you're losing players now. Yeah, but Hobbit's in a real weird situation where he could create more from this three kills from Hobbit. The plan oh, would be nice. only had a gun. If he only had a gun, but he's heading back to A instead. <laughs> it is a very, if I only had a brain kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we well, get it. Vicious. Yeah, plant is nice. Plant is good. And who knows? There's time for him to get into some unique positions. It's just a Glock against full HP and armor rifles. No Earth mods? We have mods. That makes this mods. Yeah. Uh... I don't know. He's just gonna summon he him. doesn't have the weapon here for the job at all. And uh, he's going to just have to sit here and, and hope for an absolute miracle at this point. If they somehow don't check this, I mean, you can get a cheeky kill and okay, turn maybe this we don't. just hide behind the box again, I suppose. Yeah, but that smoke goes on. Well. Tap on the defuse. Axel isn't showing his position yet. Eventually starts spamming. They know where he is, but that time is ticking here. Torsi trying to get it done. Oh, he's running out of ammo. Oh, a lot of damage. Not pulled out. Oh! oh. He gets to the position. <laughs> if he didn't oh, kill him now, there may have been a chance. Relax. Oh, my goodness. That's just mental. Yeah, if he disappears in the smoke with that knife, that would have been some craziness. Five to three. Good on Hobbit for doing some damage. That was good though. With one hero that AK, that'll be very nice for Cloud9. A plant, and we did a lot of damage. Timeout called. This one from Cloud9 to discuss things. That was the only weapon brought into it from from Cloud9. That AK47. Oh, but she's already work. close. Sorry. Ooh, close to the end of the mag as well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> everyone, knows? everyone, just a sigh of relief. Like, thank God we didn't lose to some Glocks. And Groove now on the microphone. Cyclone. You turn it fire off face, I'm shooting for face. Rub those big old meat claws. Now we return to the action for round nine. Hiding in the bushes. Vamos. Perfecto has that instant smoke set up out of spawn. He's going to toss that one out right away. And Cloud9 are back to the weapons, right is smoked out, plenty of utility. Bottom the utility at elbow for Malice. They coat it in a sea of flames and don't let anybody out of it. 
Zershin gets close even, and this can be a very pivotal position because there's three players on the other side. Oh, taking damage. so much Zershin damage. The running pass. He can get him behind oh. them. He can end the round right now. He's got so many players in front of him. Oh, them. dude, where's the refract? Are we talking different and languages? That's, that's the round. All she wrote for Cloud9 just like that. That is such a sick play from Exertion. Yeah, start adding that on top of losing to five USPs, and you're going to have a very frustrated Cloud9 who feel like they haven't even really been able to play the game. She got all three, out of this and he's still alive. And this is, like, can be recovered, but it's so low percentage. What a godlike play from Exertion. Fish dish. The last thing you'd expect Bro. on the T side is that. That is so nuts. The fact he gets all three because they don't react because they're they're so confused as to what is happening, where they're being shot from. Communication doesn't flow fast enough. They don't react. They don't turn in time. Oh, Exertion Rufus stays pissed. composed and gets that triple. And this is what I talked about with Exertion. Like, these are the things I wanted to see back from him in the series, and we didn't really get it in maps one and two, but now he's hitting a little bit of a flow where he's starting to get frisky, starting to take some risks. And when, you can see when it works out, it just wins you rounds. Mm. Boomich and Axile just say, screw it, we're saving. Not even close to a full losing bonus for Cloud9 at the moment. Only two rounds built up. It's not going to be a pretty buy moving forward outside of these AK-47s. Man, he looks dumb as hell. But more than anything, hell. time to snap back into action for Cloud9. Overpass looked great, but ever since Mal's arrived on map two, Cloud9 has struggled. Nice boys. Full, full focus, the money part. What is he that, saying? Very good, Jason. Dude, yeah, that's what I gather from that. As a well. referee. It's not a happy place. Like he's there not to just like go. fucking talk. You know, how funny would it have been though if that nade just blew open the smoke and ruined <laughs> this play? Uh, now that I see that happen <laughs> again. Nah, bro, we need to redo this well. round. Good control to get electronic eventually in the transfer to the third. And th the only reason why he's allowed to get that third is because it's such a crazy play to make that you don't expect it. It takes that long for that third player to realize Bro, he said happening. focus, yeah, and you yeah, also exactly. told them how the money is like. The fuck? Go to, oh, is CT hiding in the smoke right out of the gate? Yeah, just sheer confusion. Nah, bro. But Cloud9 trying that to get ref is to biased. The attack salt to take that first kill of the round. Shui makes quick work of the response, but he's overrun. He's overwhelmed, and that Tech9 has burst through the B bomb site. Perfecto's got to cross the bomb, though. There is still a little bit of a danger. Oh, no, he's huddling in. There's the cross. Good dink. Please. Zershin can't be aggressive. Yeah, it's massive danger right now. Axel coming back down. He catches them looking oh, the wrong almost way. Almost just one on Exertion. Torch is coming in on that rotation, and he's the player with Yimfat that need to pull this off. In fact, making no secret about his position. He's inside of the cave. It's available. He's down close to Cobbit, but his head was tucked down and covered off by that wood. But Torsi like gets rid of him. There it is. And now there's utility. He can smoke that bomb. And there's flashes. Oh. There's Yimfat. And there's nice. so much chance here. As Torsi oh, around thank the God. Yimfat's gone. I think time. he realizes now his teammate's out of there. He has to bail out. He'll take that AWP under the next one. And Cloud9 nice responds days. with a B play. Good rebuttal. Give your props to Axel. He finds the entrance on that B bomb site. He gets that opening kill. And with such a mid-center defense there just wasn't enough resources to stave that off if your mouths really good find on the opening while exertion was looking for more action from the ledge and cloud have done that a couple times when they when they find that opening pick like they're just going to keep applying pressure to that beat bombsite, like keeping it simple here it is from exile swinging through the smoke roland wasn't ready shuey can only get the one Yeah, Cloud9 don't let out a big celebration. They're not in a position to do so at this point. Full focus, get as many as you can. And that money situation the Cyclone so eloquently put previous round, well, it can be fixed here for Cloud9. They've got AKs out. They're looking to push forward into the last few rounds of this half. This has been the most labored series we've seen out of Brolin in a Mal's jersey Miss since smoke. he joined the roster. Well, it's been solid How did you even miss that? Where did that, where was that supposed to hit? the shoes that Frozen left. <laughs> but needed on a more consistent basis as a permanent member. Well, that hasn't really been an issue, it feels like, until today. He's been a solid delivery. It's just that today has been quiet. It's not all on his shoulders, obviously. There's been some other struggles, but certainly they'd love to have him back. This is going to be an A set piece. Torji's in Donut with the AWP. Cloud9 did waste a smoke. It missed at the start of this round. So they're just down to one smoke for this. So it's not much of an execute, to be honest. It's lacking. Oh, there's a, there was a drop one in the leaf. Okay, so there's a second smoke available. He can toss out. So that's good for Cloud9. 
Donut smoking. Yimfat playing from that tall box. He's tucked in behind it. Jimbo no more Yuto. Setting up flashes for his peak, but maybe just a little bit oh, too early. Timing. But Yimfat's still able oh, to the line up. in behind those big box. And he's Monk for a big round. Looking nice. for shots out, but it's nothing. Not a single kill comes to that initial hold. And Torji sprints so back good. into Donut so to good. get behind the cover of the smoke. Yeah, once again, Torji's up. Not even allowed to have impact here. He had oh. one shot. One shot at it. And now he's going to have a tough time getting out. Electronic already Bang. wrapping around him. Whoa. He reads it. He reads it, but not for long enough. Doesn't stick around and it's time to bail out of your mouths flawless let's get Absolutely six six time to bail out brolin doesn't have anywhere to go oh brolin you gotta feel so bad for him well, neither, how you doing, bro? he just moves his crosshair away axel walks right into it has turned ruthless ever since that exertion round uh, just every round since then has been a big f to this mouse defense they've been hitting oh, no. this this is what awkward. the oh, fuck God. am i watching it doesn't look pretty it does not look pretty they're running out of ammo they're just fumbling through the magazines Shue is somehow still alive. Oh my god, he yeah. fights on, he defends, nah. and Shue got the ace. Doesn't matter though. Hold on to his weapon. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> a garbage time ace. Look, we, we take that. <laughs> what a weird end of that round it was, but you're absolutely right. Cloud9 have just come out looking absolutely brutal. They've just like, they've just said, all right, let's not mess with middle. Like, let's screw it. Like, they've, they've hit it, the Torji's off there once or twice. They've hit some a top pistol around there in middle. Exertion at the triple spray down out of the smoke, obviously. They haven't had any success. So the last it's two okay, rounds they've won okay. last have round. been, let's hit that B bomb site. Entrance from Axel, cool. Let's keep it going. Play the trade game. This one, set yeah, piece towards A. Money. And once again now, back to the A bomb site. Oh, man. is the name of the game for Cloud9. It's oh, just Jimbo. On the weakest gun, base the so good in those kind of positions, but it's just damage in this round for Yimfat. He hasn't had to face pressure like that this whole game. He probably would have liked Great to have fake. had a 5-7. Maybe bought the Deagle expecting if he gets into a fight, it's going to be a distance. It's going to be some safety. And just fooled. Caught off guard by the rush. And this is going to be Cloud9. Unlosable. 5 feet 3 post six. plant. They're trying to come back into this one. Mouse, last round of this half. Actually, hold the phone. There's smokes. There's three smokes. I am not going to hold the so phone. Gonna toss that utility out, but Buwin's removing the numbers. It's certainly not going to help. This is easy, dog. For Mouse exertion trying to double up, and it won't happen. A ruthless finish to the half for Cloud9. Six, six. Six to six. Last half of this series. Much needed. Much needed. It's the side map, boys and girls. Last half incoming. And then, if you're unaware, last warning about what game we have after this literally a nuclear banger we have a navi elimination game i don't want to be in this situation but somehow we are yesterday i cheered the fuck out of my life for uh, navi against spirit it still wasn't enough it still wasn't enough the whole chat was against navi me and the world um today i hope that some of you guys feel bad and cheer for navi yeah because they need it more than ever this is elimination. This could be the last game at I am Katowice. And they just arrived in Katowice. Aware? Um, so, yeah. That happens right after this ancient second half. Scorpa, thank you for the four months in a row. Phenom Devon, thank you for the four months in a row as well. Leon Yeet, thank you for the 13 months. Buba Chuba, thank you for the nine months in a row. Mohan, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Buforme, thank you for the tier one sub. Mr. Tuck, thank you for the 10 bucks. Elman, thank you for the 10 months. Tennessee, thank you for the 18 months. Coast guys, coast, coast, coast. And I Messias, thank you for the... Five months. Um, we need to do a speed run of unbanned appeals. Speed run of unbanned appeals. Now. There's too many motherfuckers who are trying to get unbanned. Full speed run. Mr. Streamer was saying something about books on stream. 17 messages. Already sassy. Absolutely not. Bro, how can Mongols lose? They are playing with nature. Four to three. Absolutely not. Um, uh, Deagle headshot, no kill, own clip. Hey, dear mods, I didn't Tino mean to promote too. myself. Just thought that I, that I can send the link instead of posting it on Reddit. Fair. Welcome back. Mm, no. How fast can... No. Jubby is... Whoa! No. Because I said true. Kiss was too much. <laughs> I'm sorry. But Resute is true. Resute. Residue. Yeah. Thank you for unblock. Nah, 33 messages. Um, no, 21 Savage. And he scammed Enros. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? Uh, I was talking about Team Big. What the fuck? Ridley, Ridley. Nah, bro, I don't trust you. 
Um, hi, sorry that I got a little taken away and said the N-word. I would really like to get unbanned. I'm a good person. I will never say the N-word again. Uh... No? But if he... Oh, my... Dude, this is always the question. Like, this is all... This is always... Bro, because you have other communities and that's like, it's, it's, it's... It's 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 word and it's it's a it's a word every like third cent like you know bro unban or ban I don't know what if what if what if <laughs> mods handle 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 um my little brother no three messages um what the fuck does this mean bro none of my mods are Indonesian I should get into the chat so I can give good feedback to the streamer in question what can't even read your messages. No. I don't know what that means. I'm sorry, it's so fucked up what I type. Okay, banned. Let's go. Can it out for My a match days. against Game Legion in that upper Let's semi-final. Lock in. If they go down and they take a loss, they'll face Monty. And that's not a, a team you want to face in the elimination. They can be dangerous. They can be a little pesky go. team to, to go up against. You want to try and get Last through half. that game against the Gamer Legion side of things. Yeah, for sure. And I, I mean, right now, we have, we have a little bit of a, a game between us considering Cloud9 just hasn't given up. They've had plenty of chances to break in that first half. You think the losing to five USPs early on. You think the exertion triple kill coming out of smoke. We have too many requests. Really we have 2K kind of requests. You mentally lose oh, yeah. yourself in this game. And Cloud9's hung strong to come back. Do people who are unbanned get a notification? A notification so like an email or not? Going for a B play here. Plenty of utility available for Shue and Torzi. And Hobbit. Yes. He is not going to hold water in this one. The defense breaks open. That much to them. Desertion. Don't do them, Botek, please. Pressure onto a second player. Boomich comes back. Close lines desertion. Like to them on stream. With multiple different sides, and there's just too many bullets peppering him from so oh many different days. positions. And Maus comes storming into the B bomb side. But it's exertion who cracks that open. Two entry kills. Six. 16 and 8 for Zertion in the oh, map. Oh. We wanted him. We got him here on Ancient. Shui's right there with him. Shockingly enough, the captain, 16 and 8 as well. Yeah, and he's had a good series overall, right? He's had a few maps throughout Mouse this series where he's been very won good. Every he gets some pistol. Moments in. And it's the Every pistol. And usually thrives being the front man, being the sort of opener to these sites. And he does it right away here at the start of the second half. Cloud9, full USPs, Lock in. one grenade was the recipe for disaster against them in the first half. That's all six pistol rounds won by Mouse in this series. That's yeah, what I'm Cloud saying, Bob. Good at those. They haven't won a single pistol. But they've been very good at the first gun rounds. Yeah, well, again, the conversation in MR12, especially in a third map, you put so much more pressure. Like you're spawning, you're spawning wrong. your opponents four rounds per map, essentially, right? Like, that, uh, that's never a good feeling. No, definitely not. And Cloud9 making it difficult for themselves. And this round is... It's going to be very easy for Maus. They've found their way through to an MTA bomb site. They've dodged that entire oh stack for Lord. Cloud9, but they're still walking. Yeah, and I'm, I, that made me nervous seeing Jimmy clear Temple all on his own with the bomb in hand as well. He's going to get away with it this round. Plant for CT spawn. Shue and Torji still going for a hunt. Yeah, Shue. He's close by. They're up just against USP. Okay. I gotta be careful they don't get too far away weapons. from the bomb, though. Uh, Cloud9 already kind of realized that that Mouse have a little bit too faster. far away. Still not a great chance that Cloud9 come back into this, but there's that opportunity, that little window they could have slid into and pressured the, the diffuse. But Mouse has spread around the map really, really well. One just HP. Players off now. It's just perfecto. Yeah, if Mouse knew that they only had USPs on the other side, there would be no commitment to that hunt and the pressure wouldn't come in. Nah. But they, they might have thought they had a force buy. They st stacked one side of the map. They were likely going to save that into the next round. If you take everything away, then they don't have that opportunity in the next. But Mouse losing one player is definitely okay. Uh, Could have been a lot worse for them there. Opportunity to lose multiple players. A nice little steal away there from Perfecto. Nah. Right at the end. Yeah, cheeky little Galil before you. Oh really man, Navi Elimination after this. This sure. game is nothing compared to that. Eight to six, Cloud9 buying up. First gun round been coming in. And again, as you mentioned, like they've lost all pistol rounds, but they've Ooh. won most of the first gun rounds, and they've been able to start getting into action pretty quickly. Never too far back. JL against his old Cloud9, team. Let's hope that continues. For a limb. Double Molotov into middle. Cloud9 applying pressure to elbow early on, not allowing Mouse players to go there. No one sets up outside. This is just the four anyway. player. I don't have the utility, I think, to sustain any kind of mid presence if you're Cloud9. So you can initially force them back, but you can 
keep going forward and maintain the control. So maybe you've got to look somewhere Bro, else. Should we 17 that kills. B ramp. And it certainly looks like it. Zosh 16. Got back to Leo, but quick switched. Nice. And I'm not expecting the second player. Yeah, I thought he had a little bit more time to get away. One for one, he sees the aggression. They know there's a third player as well there due to the utility that's thrown. So they have a little bit of information mouths to work with, but they don't realize the follow-up push coming from Cave. Electronic and Perfecto going to double up and say, if you want to escape... Electronic, that, that's a double-double. Easiest double-double ever. Nice, easy double for Electronic. Two quick headshots. Now it's Exertion and Yimfat left in a 2v4, and that bomb dropped at the That's entrance. That's Zeus gold stickers on that That's uh, well. had four That's kind of cool. Right out of the gate. One player ran mid, threw Probably a from bit a of utility, player, backed right? off to immediately to the B bomb site. They left Axel alone in Donut. But having four players there, you, you have to be dynamic. You have to be kind of probing and moving forward. You can't just sit back on your haunches and wait. Otherwise, oh, wait, Mouse no, can Galil. outmaneuver you. Yeah, speaking of probing, here they it's go with three player. down the B round. That's cool. They're taking the fight to the final two players of Mouse. And Bumich will Where's celebrate Sachi? that round win. Richtig. Ancient, also a map that Cloud9 was able to defeat Virtus Pro back at the play-in stage to make it to the group stage. And they defeated them handily 13-4. to We saw the kind of confidence in a strong win over VP had with Cloud9 on the in the series. Looking to have another Krasachi strong she bled. side. <laughs> Every gun round. Every first gun round feels like Cloud9 is just wanting. These smokes are strange in Cloud9. <laughs> Three missed smokes of the last four rounds. Yeah, might have to have a conversation about that. Spend some time in the server tonight. Two smokes there, though. It might be like, it looks Very like a, banned. a mushroom cloud almost. <laughs> sure. And here we go, out in towards the A bomb site. Shui at the front of the attack. Here's the spearhead. Come on. Will follow. Nice. But it's not coming through, it's just the tip. <laughs> the tip nice suit. That kill quick enough. And all of a sudden, you're faced with the prospect of three opponents peeking at you. <laughs> well, this is stalled out. And Mouse, when you have the weaker buy, you generally want that early momentum to go your way. Electronics putting a lot of mileage in in this in this game so far in these first two gun rounds. Running around, getting, yeah, getting he, the step count up. He's being everywhere. He's just shifting, reading the game as well as he can, predicting what's coming next, and putting himself in position to be useful to the team. Putting a lot of trust in Axile as well to have a uh, information gathering position. He's playing in Donut again, so he's peeking towards mid, and he's just keeping an eye on, on the progress. And if he sees nothing, Electronics That's can good, get away with hustling around and making these stacks at different bomb sites. Here's Brolin. Having a bit of a tough time. He's going to oh, go for that spam down. He's zero damage. The, the bullets don't penetrate like they used to. My blood is not, not cooking at all. At all. And Torch is going to keep walking through red. Around the back of Electronic, who turns back and just about, about spotted the victim. And there's Exertion with the mm. full-on headshot on the Deagle. Brolin filters in. And suddenly, just like that, Mouse have turned this round on its head. Fuck. It's they might even time. scare Cloud9 off from this one. And that, that might be, uh, I mean, if we've seen Electronica frustrated a couple times in this game, and it's obviously going to happen. That might, This might be another round that causes him to get a little bit angry, because Axile was safe and Donut that whole round looking towards middle, and just fell back to A unprompted when they had a little pressure at the B bomb site, and that's what allows that mid play to slide up. That's what forces Electronic to shift his attention back and put him at a disadvantaged fight. Yeah, we get to see this again, so perfecto. Exiting Donut, getting that kill, but this is the frag from Torzi that really unlocks the round. And then, obviously, six shots. This should have been Cloud Nines. It really should have, but Mouse have a lot of firepower, and they got them back into it. Yeah, one of the uh, missed, missed uh, rotation, blown rotation. A little bit of a mistake, I think, from what Axile. What the fuck is that? I just get a little jumpy due to the pressure, but on the bomb site, trying to get a jump on that rotate early and puts the defense in a weird spot. Sound delay. Refresh your stream, bub. Two round lead and Cloud9 have money. Yeah, they do. Perfecto could drop an AWP at 6300. They're going to call a timeout and talk gonna things go, over. He actually hey buys guys. an M4 and then sells it back. So I would imagine we're going to see that op come out. Duncan, uh, this is a critical for round for Cloud9 to keep this close. Otherwise, you've got Mao's at 10 at double digits. You're going to have to save. Chad, I'm scared for Navi. I'm not even yeah, kidding. It's a conflict of the coaches. Yesterday, we did not look strong. Of input. We've visibly seen what Cyclone is able to do for this team. It was JL Masterclass. Oh, they look after a bit. timeout. And Mao is looking for that final stretch. Looking Almost to take this no impact. That matchup versus Game Religion. Shue's we need to lock in today, bro. To meet in Katowice. 
One of the biggest events. It's Apex. Don't underestimate Apex. Sure they eliminated the Big Clown. Prospect for the in-game leader of Mouse. And you mentioned the money. There is enough to buy for Cloud9. They will have a couple of concessions, and that is limited utility and an MP9. But Mouse are going for a quick call out oh, of wow, the timeout. Oh wow, it's a quick one. Into the next round. Oh They're no, nobody is there. I'll exile. Six, six. But Axel on the double kill. Exertion and Brolin stopped at the door. An electronic turret, but he is taken out by Yimmy. Axel is doing so much for Cloud9 in this one. He's kept him in it. He's kept their competitive. Nice. And now Hobbit has arrived in the rotation. Over. It's just Shuai left alone in a one v two. And although Mouse. About a flank, do you not have info? He has to clutch it in a 1v2 and he slips out. There's the player spotted. He does not know about Boomla. Hobbit, who's got some cover, and they know exactly Bang! where Shui is, so they time a double peak, and that's a quick round. Quick to start. Kawasaki, Blyat. Cloud Nine, that come out. Yeah, that just came in at the perfect moment. I don't, I, I don't know if Mao's. It looked like they almost got like team flash. Maybe it was an exile flash as well. But uh, he's he just comes out of here and everyone's blind. Exertion's trying to run back into cover, desperate. Grabs a second kill on top of it, and that buys time for Hobbit to slide into the default boxes. Beautiful a jail defense. in the back. And again, the third player I there saw him. was Electronic. He's hustling. He's all over the show. Wherever you go, he'll be there. No way they're rushing again. Are they fucking the tilted? What is this? If a rush doesn't work, they rush B? More dominant in favor of Cloud9. And these so desperate. Through. Yeah, Exile gets up to that ledge real quick to just shave off one player before they hit. Goes down afterwards. Now Boomich is going to have to hold on to Cave. Electronic, who else? Ready to swing through the smoke on contact. Boomich, oh yeah, you love these kind of positions when he got an MP9. Little yeah, Velociraptor yeah, in his hand. And he rips Thanks for the free confidence it's boost. It's all tied up, and Cloud9 have found a second win, and potentially that will be the team moving forward to face against Gamer Legion. Very doable. They just ripped the momentum away from Maus. Yeah, zoom in on Bolan. He feels uncomfortable. Richtig. Fast paced rounds from Maus. Basically, an A rush this time. During the clutch, please. And they both get snuffed. So Cloud9 don't hit those economic issues. It's Maus who have to settle back go. and it just glocks. There we go. Then all five block rounds. All right, Cloud9. You lost against. Oh, God. Are we going to get eco the third time? Jason hasn't seen this in a long time. He can't even remember it. Yeah, step it up. <laughs> Surely not. Give him it. Oh, that's a Nate nice is great. Nate. Oh, oh there is. a lot of damage. It should be softened up enough oh, now no. for Hobbit. Not again, not again, not again. Through the glocks, oh, the thank world. God, Boomla. The Cloud9 team defense and the bomb plant is coming through, but Boomla not even a plant. That, and his teammate of Electronic denies the plant. I got a little worried in that first kill. I swear Mouse is fumbling right now. Like, I was just kidding, guys. I don't want you to lose. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> don't actually do this. Yeah, it's uh, not cool. That was three clean rounds in a row. Or for Mouse, excuse me. Yeah, Groove, he's using it though. Yeah, he is, he's chatting. Moves. Counting off on his fingers. Mouse behind. Quicker plays have not been working. That's a fast A play and a fast B play that are stopped before the round really gets going. Yeah, the playbook on Ancient seems to be so big when, when you when you have such an advantage in terms of utility over the defense. Or when they get the smokes and Molotovs down and choke points, when they make it difficult to scale up lane, when they make it difficult to scale out mid, all of a sudden you got to play a little bit slower. And that might be the conversation Maus is having, having right now. That's how they want to approach it, because they've seen Axel get aggressive down mid. They've seen Cloud9 put bodies in mid. They've seen them stack the B-bomb site. They've hustled over and been there at A executes as well. Maus probably feeling a little restricted at the moment, so hopefully Cyclone had a solution. Here it is. Why are you not supporting your German team? Brother, I don't cheer for a German Orc. I cheer for players, all right? I don't give a shit about the Orc. Early skirmish or utility going across the map. Why would I care about the business, bro? Sure, I care about the players, the people. The with a kill from the bottom of the B ramp. With nothing sourced. And they'll just take this B lane control. Cloud9 okay. not applying pressure. Very passive. In fact, they're making a gamble stack over not towards the people. I'm sorry, four players here. That's exactly what they did in the first round. I switched shot on the team real quick. If ramp, my favorite player's gone. Push in towards Cave. And they're lining up for this ramp push. Electronic and Hobbit, Perfecto with flashbang in hand as well, ready to toss it out. Minute so Boomich is dropping further back too. He's going to watch red in case they've lost mid control. That bottom ramp push is coming in, and it's <sighs> devastating. Guys. Electronic and Hobbit get three kills Guys. between them, and this has got to be it. Now Mouse is starting to get very frustrated. Mouse this is, is fumbling. They had it. Where they just haven't got involved. They haven't competed, and Cloud9 are dominating them towards the end of this half. And From a desperate A rush to a desperate B, B rush, deserves, uh, deserves a getting lot of owned on the uh, equal. On the 
this this is twice now this strategy has worked perfect now. and they've ran it exactly the same the both times i mean i mean it looks like it has to be groove based on the the body language in that timeout right he's instructing boomage they're looking at him they're all listening intently to what groove had to say and then they come out and this is the round they pull off yeah it might just be a back pocket Chat. strategy mouse when you when won you feel like six it's be out so of six pistols that whenever you need a round you just you just call <laughs> it but Man, this is executed beautifully twice. And then we still lose the series. Double push down B ramp. Get your kills. Rotate back to K. Send bodies there because you got four at the B bomb site. You can afford to sacrifice two if they get sticky situation. And they haven't really needed to have to worry about that eventuality. 11 to 9. Wow. Ah! That's a sticky situation right there. Why does it look like a... What's the name? That's why it's all going wrong. Why'd you say it about Pimp? That's exactly why. They're like animals in the desert who like Isle, sit on stones and they like look around, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Forgot the name. Yeah, frustration. That round, you have a game plan coming into it out of the timeout and you don't even get to execute upon it. A meerkat? Money's still an issue, but yeah. they buy an AK on Jinvat just to see if he can create anything, just to see if he can cause any damage. Maybe provide a miracle. A lot of pressure on Shuhei, who's looking... Oh, huh. To potentially end up losing this it series. Is over, bro. Oh, he's a lost his head. streak of winless rounds. It's been four in a row for Cloud9. Yeah, he's lost his head here, and he'll have to sit back and watch the remaining four screens of his teammates and call from that. An AK 47 in the hands of Yimfat. That is the only rifle in the hands of Maus. And they're putting everything into this fight. Is there a pathway to compete in this round? No, there is absolutely Once again, absolutely it looks like a no. proactive ramp push coming in for Come Cloud9. On. Brawlin. I like how we take space. Come on, lock in to Fexo. Lock in. Come on. In fact, he might even get a second here. Perfecto desperately trying to get back to safety around that corner where Hobbit can protect him. Uh, neither of one of them wanted to really commit to that fight. Both of them was just like fighting to be able to retreat and survive. Yeah, 40 half seconds. in, half out. Axel's come we over got three to defenders on the right side. Rotation. Yeah, got to be careful of Torji, though, who now has an AK, or excuse me, Exertion, who has that stance over towards Red Room. He only has a Deagle, unfortunately. Great Electronics smoke with 30 seconds left. Of a -man too. So he's pushing for information. He's getting space at the moment. But here comes ah! Perfecto. Ah! He's got him for a double dip. And this time, he's got another headshot. Torsi finishes him off. Oh, no. Exertion coming to Red Room. Yip Fat 20 seconds. It's a kill on Hobbit that's locked it in. It's that's on Exile. Kill that puts Mouse Please don't get killed. No. Knocks Electronic down to the Exile 1v3. No. He doesn't have it in him. Let's and Mouse will pick it up. No, calm down. Mouse win this round from a 4v5. Oh, man. Finding that push down ramp, that lurk from Exertion was perfect. And this is a nice slow paid play, played round. Well, we see them struggle when they've gone faster pace. This one was great. Finally, there's only so many times you can pull off this ramp push before Maus is just like, we're keeping eyeballs on it all the time. Uh, every stage of the run. And it's not the normal execution. It didn't have the double door smoke. It didn't have the flashbang. Improvised, I think, by Cloud9. It ends up No time out's taken. Cloud9, full buy. against them for the first time. Run boost fails as well, which means Maus has standing towards ledge. Nice. He was so focused down below. There's no fallback. There's no retreat. Perfecto, perfecto. Gets into safety. Big stage. Molly is great. Lots of juju damage. Team kill. 2v2, 2v2. Line up. 5 HP roller, 1v1, Hobbit. Hobbit, has he won a single clutch yet? He's lost like fucking 3 1v1s. Five Lock in a rough in. game in the office. He's ask five HP Roland to win this one v one. It's going to be down to timing on this, and he looks like he's hoping he can catch Hobbit rotating through middle. It's not happening quite yet. He's got all the utility he could want. Lots of time remaining, and he's got the space on this B bomb site. If he commits to that, there's no Hobbit there. He's waiting for a commitment to a plant before Hobbit moves off. So Brolin's going to have all the time in the world Hobbit to gamble position himself a. in a solid post plant. This is a huge gamble from Hobbit, though. He's just parked in a main, so he's so got no information. Man, huge yeah, gamble. The Rotation will be so long. Fall. No kid to kid. It's a check no, if meow. the clock comes in at the A bomb site. But if it doesn't, this round's gonna be so hard to win. Now, Brolin, just don't go to A. Nah, uh, he, he won't. And you're if he goes A, he's dumb as hell. Close position. Maybe he goes back to the B bomb site because yeah. of limited time. But he's cleared out all around B. Hobbit hasn't moved in the meantime. He hasn't Fuck, taken a step off man. of the position he was holding. Hobbit still going stiff down in cave, towards bro. this B bomb site. Has to commit to their plant shortly. <laughs> Brolin's so concerned. He's like, surely Hobbit's moving around the map. <laughs> yeah, like surely somewhere Hobbit's around here, but he's not. <laughs> and, and now he knows, based on that utility yeah, usage man. on the other side of the map, that Look, Hobbit has to move. Bro. 
So he's going to go back through Donut. And he's going to no have to try to Any tips? Any oh, kids? The problem here is Brolin is, is so low on health. Five HP to play with. Oh, that's a great position from Brolin. He just heard those footsteps. Moves himself into cave. Doesn't Here's matter. He's one HP, he bro. He knows exactly what's coming. However, it's relatively obvious for the plant this. spot, it feels. One bullet is oh, confirmed Hobbit, damage. Check it. Out. Come on, come on. The corner with a USP and clear that corner. If he even spams down through that box. But Hobbit's going to stick it. Brolin isn't peeking. <laughs> Brolin has to go around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> and he doesn't do what it. What now, Brolin? Hobbit gets it. And a heartbreak for Brolin <laughs> in the 1v1. That's a deep exhale as well. Oh, That's a days. hard bluff to crawl with only 5 HP. You got to be but able man, to count till 5. a little bit to the side. It takes longer for Brolin to get the angle. This was such a nice round for Malz up to this point. The Molotov doesn't stop them from killing Perfecto, but it does force them back towards Fuck. middle where they get mowed down. Huge win from Hobbit and Cloud9 on series point. <laughs> and they cannot believe it. They absolutely cannot That's believe it. That's away with that. That defuse stick from Hobbit. Wow. What a way to grab Matt Man. series point. Shue burns down. One more round. Barely alive. No time I'll take him either. Trying to do a lot there. That round is bailed out by Hobbit. The miss run boost in mid had so much to dictate. This time, Cloud9 just seed control. Happy to play Bro, back deep in that room. is crazy. Look how tentative Maus are. Taking their time, drawing out all the pieces of utility they possibly can from Cloud9. Should we already low? Hobbit and Boomich defending this B bomb site. Both of them only have SMGs. Hobbit at 20 kills, by the way. So the AK second the highest, but not as 14. long as the utilities up. Playing close behind it. Boomich has one flashbang. Hobbit has a follow up smoke. This this could just get stalled out. If Hobbit, yeah, Hobbit's yeah, gonna man. put this down. They might have to execute the through smoke this smoke. may hit the guy as well, which would be a disaster Whoa. against two MP9s. There's a deep smoke too, so that MP9 can get even closer, which makes it more deadly. 25 seconds, you're right. Mouse have to go. Here comes. It's not oh. a favorable fight, but Brolin explodes ah. with revenge, and it's a sick double kill on that B entry. Mouse are not done yet. This will be 11 rounds. We've got to go the distance in regulation. One more round, and we've got OT. There's nobody happier in this studio than Brolin right now. Redemption Flawless. with that double kill coming right back out of a tough I think we have clutch. a buy, but it's not the best. That's some composure. And for having such a rough series, having impact at this moment is massive. Worth its weight. What a transfer. It looks so good for Cloud9. That final seconds forced through a smoke into MP9s. Let me see the money. And Brolin had to step up. Oh, hell and no. And look at the buy. Look at the buy now for Cloud9. Five sevens, MP9s, CZ. It's not pretty. This looks like overtime. Shush. Oh, a lot of quick smokes down again. for the mouse. To apply some pressure, maybe force out some extra utility. Two smokes remain for Cloud9. They can't stall this round out. They're going to have to pick a point to attack with these pistols. And it looks like that point is Cave and Jaguar. Oh. Boomich slides in with Hobbit in oh, tandem. Oh, nee. Oh, Axel nee. Down. Axel, why not just what play it safe after you smell him? Not missing that one. And that has left a gaping hole in the A defense. Brolin's cut off the fastest rotation through Cave. Hey, check, check, if Hobbit check. goes forward, which it looks like he wants to, he's not gonna have a favorable fight. Brolin just has to be patient. Mouse have all the time in the world, and currently they see Zershin making his way through that A bomb site. He's calling to his teammates shortly. It uh, looks pretty clear right here. Hobbit and Boomich with a couple of kills, but they're answered back by Mouse. Middle push. And this is oh, the oh, play. Oh. Electronic has to step oh. up with that 5-7. He brings death yeah, to Shuei. That play sometimes, 2v2. 30 heaven. seconds remaining. No way. Needed exertion to commit Bad positioning. Red, and that is exactly what oh, he does. Can he catch him 1v2? Can he catch him off shot? This timing, week. timing! Oh, he doesn't go around the corner. Oh, Habibi! He doesn't have the weapon, but can switch to the AK-47 now. And they're both in there. Both remaining players and Malice are inside of the red room. And they smoke it out. Now they can go anywhere. Perfecto they're just going has to B. take a gamble. And uh, guess where they're going? Oh my days! Right oh my days! Bathati is waiting! If he gets the Bathati, no time! If he denies this, there's no more time! 
Perfecto, get him! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Perfecto is just hiding in the middle. What the fuck? Search him with a headshot. I cannot believe it. One second in it, and overtime. Cloud9 can't believe it at all. They can't believe their eyes. One second in the final second. He needed to stay alive. What the hell was that finish, Jason? That's unreal. Perfecto plays that just about perfectly. It's not even a gamble. He's saying, you saw me fight in middle. You assume I'm going to just jump over to Donut and go to the A bomb site. He gets such a lead. And exertion is so bro, unfortunate. Yeah. That is insane. Yeah. That, Can bro. you believe that? Even the other players can't believe it. <laughs> a last second headshot. Perfecto JL just annoyed just that his game gets to delayed. Oh, yeah. Lock in. A timeout, the last one. Mao use it. Cycrone has his final say here on Ancient. Man. This game is still up for debate. This game could still go either way. Here we go. Mao's have been given a second Perfect chance to another life. Lock in C9. Exertion pushing. 24 kills. He's got it on the board. No He's miss looking utility, for a 30 bomb. And this kind of form, gotta believe he can get that. Electronic climbs up heaven. Brolin gets close. Exile could throw a flashbang for him if he wants to turn the corner. Refract by Electronic. Boy kill from Brolin. There's the flash. This is Electronic. No way! Hided. Brolin's aware. He's had enough after the lost clutch. Some stellar rounds down the stretch, and Mao's with a two-man advantage. The adrenaline dump for Cloud9, who thought they had just stolen away this series. To have to refocus and be two players down in the first round of overtime. They've got the experience on this side. They've got to use every bit of it now to try and stay in this. Maos have got the first two, so they can feel comfortable delaying this mid round a. and transitioning those players over towards the Cloud9 with side. the right idea. Cloud9 trying to piece it together. Well, they're whatever pieces they got, they're making the right call. Hobbit and Perfecto shifting over. Seconds. Perfecto is going to be way more dedicated to A. Axile's over and Donut. Perfect. They're hoping this no. flash is enough of a distraction. And We're it getting is, but faked not for by long. one smoke. Utility out of A main. Axile's got to hold on initially. There's one. Tries to step back and can't make it. Perfecto comes right through, and that's desperate. Yeah, it doesn't work out here for Cloud9, smoke, and that's the man. bomb down here for Maus. Hobbit going through and dies as well. 13-12. From a last second headshot to the first round of overtime. That's a This will test that's Cloud9's mentality. Well, they bounce out. back Bonus in this map out. from some disasters in the first half. Losing to USPs, the exertion triple kill in middle. And they've responded each and every time. But this one being so what close to victory and having it ripped out of your hands by exertion yeah, yeah, might yeah. feel a little bit different. Yasuka! Lock in, bro. This 13 game, 12. This game has really been a game of seconds, milliseconds even. You remember that Hobbit defuse he sticks in the 1v1 against Brawling. The ref is the way too heavy always. The last on Perfecto from exertion. There's so many moments that is being decided by little details. And I'm sure that will continue throughout the rest of this map. Here we go. That's the overtime timeout for Cloud9. I think Groove's thinking the same thing. The stress level, the frustration a little too high on the Cloud9 side. Right. Have an early, by the LA, yeah. early call of the timeout in overtime. Just to calm everyone down, get everyone to chill and focus back up at the game. Locked I'm in. sure they thought this map was done. I don't sure like seeing perfect on RVP, bro. But they are dragged right back in. Just give it to Boomba go or forward to Brawlin. Doesn't take too much from it. Cloud9 apply pressure into elbow with utility. Axel is defending mid and electronics with him. Electronic. They're about to have a fight coming out of elbow. That smoke won't last forever. And here they come through it. Flash is good. Electronics yeah, man. Goes down. It's a double. He'll turn back, tries to get a third, and eventually it's removed. Brolin comes back. Nice. Another kill from him. And really, nice. he is really coming Previous to life year. over the last few rounds here. Shuei and Torsi. 2v3 ahead of them here for Maus. And Boomich is not sitting back. He's getting active and he's pushing through Cave. That smoke starts to fade away. And that's the bomb carrier. He drops yeah, this. man. So oh, aware. so difficult now for Torzi. And that's bomb. 
It's so hard with how much presence Cloud9 have had Unlosable. throughout this entire game. Constant pushes. There's the spam. Hobbit's going to find the final kill. 13 13. Timeout worked. Cloud9 stabilize. We needed yeah, that. They do. And that's an important timeout. Good timing to use it nice and early in overtime. Just allow that reset of the mentality of the focus to get back on the game here. And this is really sick from Electronic. Flash came up, but he knew he had spotted that second player, so he just continued to control the spray. Inseparable. Here we go. Our Cloud9 and Mouse. Walk Ooh, over. Looks like an A explode. Through the A bomb side is coming through from Mouse. Last they time they did this. this. Regulation, but it they was got fast. owned. This time a contact play. Come on, Exile. Same thing as last time. Can he do it this Same time? thing as last time. Drops into the donut uh, instead of standing and fighting. He uh, knows he has nine. some with him, but Axel gets nothing. Electronic nine goes down man. as well. Sick entries from the Mouse players. The Hobbit has to get back and try and recover this one. It's an important headshot, but it's only one step closer, and they need many more. This is a nice punish for Mouse on the defense Cloud9 has been running throughout this game. Is such a heavy lean towards B, towards middle as well. Axel alone is the defender in Donut. You can really get a wide angle on him, and they do it again. Hanging around, and that kill from Boone nice. does take Yimfat out of contention. So once again, Kids even numbers players. for we this retake attack. Smoke. Cloud9 opens themselves up a chance to get back into it. Was he hides in the big box? Brawlins beside him. Smoke on the bomb. Nice. Seven HP. He sticks it. He sticks it. He sticks it. He sticks it. Oh! the smoke, the defuse pulled off, and Cloud9 let out a sign of celebration. Yeah, that's that's two. That's two close defuses down the stretch in the rounds, down the stretch of this match. 14-13. Mouse has had success with those A hits on this T side at times, getting the entries with the post plants has been so rough to hold on to. And you have to imagine that's going to be a note they're making to have a conversation about. A couple of these post plants a little bit cleaner. Come down, come down, come down, come down. this game. Oh my days. Now from the CT side, they'll have to come back. 16, the magic number for a victory. Two more rounds for the C9 win. In fact, charges down. He's climbed heaven already. Good position to have this early in the round on the CT side. Ooh. Mouse with a lot of defense towards B. Mouse has been happy when possible to stall out this mid smoke as long as humanly possible. We didn't buy an AVP, I like that. They've got everyone in control of B lane as well, pushed out cape. No one's at A. Torji's gonna shift over just now with the off, but that's gonna leave plenty of utility to me. Mid is never open for access for Cloud9. Cloud9 with a full commitment towards this A side of the map. Torsi, well, he's got vision. He's got a line of sight. Come on, one he miss. Towards A main, and they jump across him. <laughs> he's yet to pull that trigger. Oh. <laughs> what? And when he does pull the trigger, it doesn't matter. Yimfat will step up in his stead. A double as exertion swings uh. out. Cloud9 fall at the hands of Mouse. It's two things. It's the mid control from Mouse that allows him to get that? numbers at that eight bomb site at the perfect moment. And even though Torji doesn't land a single shot and can't get really a clean shot, his present makes his presence we didn't makes even the fight. path for Cloud9 coming out of A main so rough. It opens them up to the double kill from Yimpat. What the fuck is this? Such Just a the slave? presence of the AWP scared them into turning into a disadvantage fight against an M4. And it's all tied up at 14. Oh, it's, uh, it's an exciting game here, and it's just the opening game for this Group B. Cloud9 versus Maus. It's delivering on all fronts, and Axel's taking still, damage. You saw that? He's had enough of that early fight, Bruh! and unfortunately, Bruh! Hobbit didn't have the option to fall back. He burns to a crisp. Yeah, and that's a disaster considering the HP of Axel at this point. 20 health, and he's had to give up mid. He was the only presence on the other side of the map. Huh. So it's all down to Boomage, Electronic, and Perfecto to get some kind of a foothold at this B lane. Bomb still in spawn. And here's Exertion Peak, nice, now getting boom. caught, and Boomich's headshot is fantastic. They needed that kill to draw it back. Top and there's so much time down. still left for him to call the round for Cloud9. Yeah, and Yimpat can't be aggressive in middle because the smoke just faded now, hey, so he had to back drill. away. He might have liked to have followed that piece of aggression up, but had to give up any kind of a fight, any kind of an idea that he had. Mouse is really nervous about the B-bomb site. Cloud9's shifting back across the map towards middle, towards A. But there's going to be no information for Mouse. 50 seconds. And at some point, they might want to start shifting. Middle of the map is wide open. 
even if they do start to shift, that rotation is going Single to be a Single defender on Cave. This is the cream. The majority on the other side of the map. So and for the retake, plays this. they have does no he stand smokes. And fight or does he wait on his teammates and stay alive in Donut? Come even if on, you play it's it just Jimbo. How many it's just Jimbo. Get? Not many. Special with all the utility. Cloud9 on, still not available. On, and now there's no on. secret. They're finishing. Hey, smoke goes down come towards on. CT. Molotov come to on. Temple. Electronic come pushing into the come on, come on. Oh, they line up. And Yimfak gets the miracle double that throws Maus into a 4v2. And now suddenly they're completely favored to win this and come back in for this retake. Nice! Saw you on me too. Big stage! How has he done that? One more Axel round. To the sniper. Axel on the triple. He was an offer all along. Triple kill oh. from Axel on the retake. Let's run those back. Maybe we did find a new Cloud9 offer. Maybe he's just in this team all along. Man, I mean, the the the, the miss clear and donut is so massive. Not even anyone really. Uh, Boomer trying to trade it off, but here we go. One. Swings out a little bit wider. Shuri Good trying shots. to take advantage of the position at big box, but this is just perfect. Good shot. Every shot lands for Axile. Steps up, and Cloud9 have yet another ah. chance to close this out. I cannot believe ah. back and look at the stress of the heading day. Staff. Heading day. A quick a play coming Lock in. in. Electronics at the front. Yimfat this time from Donut does answer with the. No kill. way. Oh my God, Jimmy! A triple. What and the that has fuck? Set up his team with an absolute blinder of a chance to go ahead and force us into another overtime. He has done it surely here. Axel is in the middle of the side uh, and he will fall. We go again and it's young Yimfat who steps up when he's needed most. Back-to-back -back rounds as well. This one more emphatically and oh man Electronic all he can do is really shrug and put on a put on a smile. How this did is he one get hell a triple, of a game. Bro. This is so hard to call uh -oh. who is going to pick this one up. Miracle moments happening for both Double teams that you think is going to decide the game and then suddenly there's another one. First to 19, boys and girls. I think we all need a breather right now to settle into this second edition of Overtime on Ancient. Deep Molotov, Deep Utility. Stalemate called, nobody challenging from either side. Just now Hobbit and Perfecto making their move, following up Boomich and B-Lane. More standard spread, nothing stacked at the moment. Biggest change is Torji's op over in Donut. Ah, please miss again, it's please miss again! Yaman, Yaman, Yaman! Yaman! He goes again, ill-advised. And he Minute falls to man. Axile. He Bomb never expected spawn. a wider off angle from Axile. A uh, beautiful shot to shut him down before he can react. Oh. That one's even better though. Oh my god. Boomich just so laid Shui to rest. Brolin's there it's trying perfect. to make up for it's it, but he perfect. canceled out by a flash bang. And you can tell by how fidgety he is. He has to worry whoa, about two whoa, positions. Whoa. He's done well so far. Boomich has gone down, and this is a much better CT hold from Brolin than we've seen in regulation. That smoke at ramp is doing a lot of work. Dude, it's held perfectly what are we doing? back. Without numbers, he doesn't want to step through. And that's given Brolin the safety to look elsewhere, but it's about to fade. Yeah, but he's repositioned. Brolin's now thinking about that ramp play instead of Cave. He thinks the work he's done has held them back in Cave for the time being. And he's got eh? another one. Can you believe this turnaround for Brolin? Brolin? What are we doing? Back, Here's four already. He might even get all five. He's down close, but Hobbit stops that from happening. 1v3 pre planned. Let's see it. Two left. He's thinking about a hero play, but that's denied. Not even the bomb. What was that? That's a tough okay? round from Brolin as well. I, that's a that's actually one of the best rounds that that we've seen from anyone in this server. But what were we doing? Game, considering all of those are one by one fights, it's not like it's like a bot practice like map, like one coming at a time from way. different positions. This is him swinging and taking every single fight presented, and he has to. He, he controlled the bomb site on his own, despite being the single Converse. player there. He made it feel like there was a lot more presence around that corner. He has to control Cave long enough for exertion to rotate over. Like, he, he has oh, to make sure no. they don't take over that part of the map. Otherwise, he's stuck in the corner, trapped from two different angles, and that's just beautiful from Brolin. Yeah, this is so wild. His step up towards the end of regulation on this map has been one of the main reasons Maus is still in this fight. Electronic? Mm. And it's the two players that stood tall during that big peak Navi team. It's Electronic and Perfecto at the bottom of the scoreboard right now. 13 kills for Perfecto, 15 kills for Electronic. It's Axel, Hobbit, and Boomich keeping them in this game.
You can tell the tension is raised here in open time. A lot slower, less risks being taken. More Minute methodical from, from Cloud9, and they're thinking about this mid-fight. No one's shifted just yet. Oh, careful. Spots the information jumping into cover. Oh. Cloud9 take that as an advantage to say, if you're w just mods. spotting for information like this, we've got some room to work with over towards Donut. But Exertion shifts to the B-bomb site, which means Torji gets pulled back from Temple. And he'll have Perfecto with Electronic to deal with. Oh. The first one is no problem. Yeah, that's a great shot from Torji. Electronic is going to be frustrated. It has to sit back and watch seconds. the rest of his teammates try and unravel this round. 20 seconds left. Exertion with a follow-up kill for Maus. Nice. Rubich has gone perfecto, trying to do his best. The Cloud9 need to put that bomb down, and they're no closer to doing 10 so. 10 seconds to Bomber plan. Moves. 10 seconds left. Axel fighting, has to plan. Now that second. takes him out of the fight. And forces perfecto to the Axel 1v2. And Axel now they know he can't have No way. Far. So they jump around the corner. Yimfat takes him out, and Maus are pushing forward. Forward. They're taking the lead and they're extending upon it. It may be Mouse over. Three players inside. Cave we need a miracle. Time. I think Cloud9 is so caught off guard by the numbers when they swing to take. Watch that us do some stupid shit now, like double AVP on CT side. How many players are defending it? A desperate hold. These are fights you don't necessarily need to take either at that moment. I think if they knew there's three in there, they're just gonna let them sit parked and set up a crossfire after the plant. It's okay. It's okay. But some big time wins for Mouse down the stretch. One more T-Round, we need this one. Let's not count Cloud9 out just yet, because they have shown incredible tenacity they need in one. this game. They need one in this half of overtime. Well, let's see if Man. they can get that one. Man! Still loses that initial fight. Fortunately, he had Boomich beside him, and that trade is through. He didn't think that anyone would be standing inside that Molotov. I don't think it went deep enough to block Chewie. But look so. at Yimfat in this late stage oh, of the game. No, he's not another into a -main. He's taking an advanced position. Oh. He's not alone. He's got yes. exhaustion, but Electronic clears it. That experience to check yes. the second player and followed up by Axel. Three rounds. That's the A site completely under wraps. Damn. Well, the bomb's coming in a little bit late, but Torji's going to be smoked off with the AWP. He's going to have to go towards Temple. Brolin as well just sliding over now. AS easier, bro. Is in. AS easier. And a desperate 2v4 just retake. Just don't be dumb and get fucking quad killed Dink by Jimbo. Is there. Brolin. Domes, Hobbit, but they're held back and Maus are not getting any A ground. is so much easier. Torsi would need a kill and needs to get out of Torji has been missing He's so much. That. He's now swinging with a 5-7. It's just Hobbit. Jimbo. Now dead to rights. Brawling coming through Temple. He's committed to it. Might as well go for it. But Cloud9 will sentence him to death. It is that one Lock round. In. And Cloud9 need to stay competitive. And this game once again reopens. Bangers from Electronic and Axile when called upon re-clearing A coming in real, real late. This one's gonna go forever. Mao's just now calling their timeout in Another overtime. OT. Uh, timeout. This is the sick shot from Electronic. Because the setup actually looked like it was going to shut Cloud9 down, right? It looked really good. I, I mean, yeah, but like the setup might have also given away the game. You know, that, that contact with that first player, you're gonna you're always gonna have heads up oh, to the left as you come in if you've already scored one team. On Electronic. I like that. They do have uh, another timeout for the overtime that we are currently in and it's Mao is using that. Avp perfecto. Perfecto has been shit with the Avp so far. Has found it it's been an 11 kills with the odd for so long, bro. Times. I don't, mm. A lot of contemplation from the Cloud9 players. Lock in. On the back foot. 19, now the winning number. Traditional overtime scoreline. Yeah. We've made it this far. Early utility from Cloud9 being sent out into the B lane in the bottom of the ramp. Torsi getting boosted up on that box at bottom ramp. He's not seeing too much. But he'll wait. He'll be patient. Perhaps he will strike. I'm really yeah, curious at this point in overtime if, if Cloud9 try to run that play with the double push towards ramp or if they hold off on it. It's worked twice. Shot, it's bro. failed once. But it's been really effective. Perfect to RVP. Please hit your Should shots, please. Perfecto Come on. the challenge Come on. AWP. Nine. Ooh, what? That bullet disappeared. Yes, no. that did not connect. And Perfecto is going out again. They know that AWP is positioned on default at B. Why does he keep buying RVP, bro? Just go A, uh, M4. Brolin doesn't want to round that corner. If he did, he would have a nasty surprise of two Cloud9 players boosted. 
Cloud Bumic standing above the head of Perfecto. Cloud9's just, just calling it a little bit. They're playing with no information in middle. No one's even spotting it. No one's even really considering it. Electronics just spotting to see if players get into Donut. But this whole time, someone could be wrapping around the beep off site. Nice! Oh, Setup works perfectly. Yeah. Bumic and Perfecto with seconds. a piece. It works out absolutely perfectly. And now Malice make their way through. Final 25 seconds Perfecto. of this round. Hobbit plays at the first pyramid with Perfecto in a Should crossfire. Should be easy. That's the denial of the bomb plan. This is Malice falling apart, and it's just Torzi, and he is now gone too. Once again, we are tied up in this series, yet to see who is coming out on top. Great, great hold. Hobbit and Perfecto with a crossfire from long to cave, and it just decimates Malice, prevents the plant, and we're all tied up. Two more rounds. Ooh, it didn't disappear. It just missed. So close. I was trying to help you out, Perfecto. I was trying to give you one. I want to take a little bit of the tricep off. But it didn't quite connect. All right. Mid pressure from Cloud9. Deep nades. Oh, oh wow. With the oh, Auger not even zoomed in. Wins out. That's crazy. He brings the AUG out. Of course he does. Electronic. At this stage in the game, searching for series point again. And Cloud9 have had two chances to win this game and they've let both of them slip. Exalt. Good damage. Had a chance to actually win it. They've always been fighting for the next And Perfecto overtime. dropped and the RBP. Like Boss play. Vichy, he knows his shit with RBP. Players so low. Finally. A player down to Roland attempts to peek out a cave. It will not work. Sometimes you gotta be the bigger Roland man. Decides to drop on back, predicting a play to come his way, and that's exactly what Cloud9 offer up. Boomich and Hobbit, they come out on top, and now Cloud9 are in pole position to get to map and series points. Four v two, but the beat from Hobbit and the yes, perfect. With the up, we know how it would have went. And now Yimfat has a one v two in front of him. Nah, nah, not another one. Does not care about the clutch. He feels no pressure. Hey, we're he both here, Bob. We're both Shadow. And the shadow spotted. Surely in fact trying to draw no, that fight. And now they've doubled up. Saga and won't be able to get it. No, oh, look at it. Dada! Dada! It's a feel-good victory. 18 17. Like 21 Savage, one set. Yes, yes, yes. 18 17. One round away from Cloud9 taking this series, getting themselves a matchup versus Gamer Legion. And sending Maos down to a battle against Monty. Such a good early win from Electronic in middle as well. Say Dada. All right. Lock chance. in, bro. How many is it going to take? Cloud9 have shown incredible resilience with how stubborn Mouse has been, refusing to go away. And this time, Exertion gets the opening. That's it's when Shirei pounces. Two for two in mid. Three and three. Three v three set up nice and early. Cloud9 a few steps away from closing out this series, but Maus want to battle back again. The first time around, it was a last second headshot from Exertion to stop them from being sent out of the series. And, and Cloud9 really doesn't care about defending this eight bomb site. Not at all. That's yeah, fine. Go gone. for retake, and, and I think at some point, Maus we have noticed kids. and realized that because there's been such a lean towards the B bomb site for Cloud9 throughout this whole game. And there's no utility really for this retake, right? They don't have smokes. They have one flash, one Molotov. Says you. Cloud9 have got to hit headshots. And they're going into the donut. Brolin's going to take them out. That's a first kill coming in for Maus. Second what? in from Torzi. And we go what again. The fuck? This overtime keeps on refreshing. And we've got plenty more Counter-Strike. Oh, I cannot man. believe Maus is able to come back in all these rounds. They've, they've won uh -oh. three series points. Again, no chance for them to win this map just yet. Uh oh. Look at Exertion. There's the opening. The space needed. Shui with the trade, and you feel like it's a huge advantage in the post plant for Maus, and they just close it out nice and easy. You're so right, though. You know, we've seen Cloud9 stay committed to that B defense nah, time G. and time again. Nah, Surely now G. that it's been figured out, we'll see a little change up. I'm just so surprised in a 3v3. Perfecto spots them in mid and hears them in mid and shifts back towards the B bomb site instead Lock of in. uh, fighting at all for any kind of standing at A. Triple nade stacked down into the B lane. Brolin takes significant Perfect damage. Perfect to back on RVP. He'll still stand Why? Over half health. Bro. There's about to be a peak as Boomich is on the exit of Jaguar. He's going to hear the pin. Watch him miss a shot this round. And, and the, the next round back to Empire. But wasted Boomich the first round. going to go run. for it. Takes away Brolin. And there's no trade potential. There's no chance for a kill back for Maus. And they're fine doing the setup because Perfecto is inside the bomb site at the default pillars. Just holding it up at the angle Hobbit. towards ramp. Now, if you're Mouse, 
That smoke indicates they've fallen back. Yeah, and Hobbit slides out. Perfect timing. Oh. Can't get away. That's fine. But damage done. Yeah, that's three. certainly felt here for oh, Mouse. They've got to try and recover this 3v4 now. And the bomb stays committed to the B side of the map. They don't have many options to rotate back to A. They still have plenty of time, though. This setup doesn't work twice, does it? Maybe. It's difficult to break apart. It has been dismantled and changed up, and Boomich making noise. He's so low on health. Utility being tossed into the cave. Still a 4v3. Boomich will not take damage from it, so he can stay there. Electronic nice. rotation over. That's bomb. Shue was not ready. He was preoccupied. Bomb loss on side. 30 seconds. Cave, and that opened up a chance for a kill from Electronic. And now Torchy's overwhelmed. Electronic stepping up in this round. And just exertion with a 1v4 ahead of him. He'll go down to Boomich's relocation. Oh my days. Boomich is happy about that one. Boomich gets the first and the last, but man, Perfecto's so relocation is so, so smart. Shue's just distracted entirely because Perfecto puts out the Molotov and jumps yeah, into you're losing. Cave. Hello. And Shue is just so convinced that's the main defense what leaves him open for electronics peak and cloud nine once again take a lead it's an emotional roller coaster for everybody involved in this series now the highs and lows especially on this third map the first two maps First map is a blowout in the favor of Cloud9. Second map's a blowout in the favor of Maus. This one has been neck and neck the whole way through. And no one escapes from that pressure. Here we go. Electronic thinking about what, should, what to buy. Go for the Auger, my driller. M4. Cloud9 with the small lead on one go. round. Utility comes into elbow again. Making it oh. uncomfortable to stick around there. You know you're going to How did he take that much damage? No. He's gone. Exertion cannot get around that corner. Trying to force the That's the top frag on Mouse. From Cloud Nine. Yeah, Boomich read that. Mouse has ran this same crunch a couple of times. We saw it just previously towards the end of the last overtime. This time, Boomich holds onto the nade for an extra couple of seconds and tosses it in when utility starts coming over. That was meant to be a collapse between Perfect two and Exertion. Back. And it's just taken away from them. Oh, the spam down. That's what? a beautiful way to get a kill this late into the game. Brolin spamming through, catching Perfecto, and draws at least one step back. Especially onto the AWP. Boomich slides into the position that spam would hit as well. Axile pushing up in A main is going to keep track of anyone falling all the way back. He's actually posturing like he wants to wrap all the way over. Oh, he's going. He's going for it, Jason. He's committing like to this. That. Yeah, I like that. I like that. here. If Malice can make it into Donut before this flank comes in, Axile will at least kept tor uh, catch Torgy. Torgy. Is Dead. You'll see his direction. Whoa! And he doesn't get the kill, and now Axel is com completely messed it up at this point because there's no one inside of the A bomb site, and he's giving away what he's doing. He's giving away his move, so the accelerate into the A play. Electronic gets over on time in the rotate to get a kill back. And Cloud9 have got extra play. Torji won before. What is he going to do? Effectively, it's just just Torji left. They spotted him a little bit earlier in this round. They know he's around Sorry, the pal. donut somewhere, and they'll get that defuse in shortly. Torji not does today. not have the weapon nor the utility to get oh. out of this one. He's fighting in the donut, nah, but they're nah, giving nah. him chances. Together, together, they together. Really are giving him chances. Yes, and sir! they will overrun him. <laughs> and Ruben's not happy. can take a sigh of relief because he looked like he was on the edge. <laughs> yeah, that second kill comes in, you get a little bit worried. It, it feels, it looks a little, it doesn't feel, it looks a little bit silly from Brolin just walking through that smoke, but you realize Axel's pushed up and tried to wrap around middle, so he's going to be a main. You know you know, there's one in Temple coming in because he's just Sorry. killed your teammate. You really have no that way to go so important, bro. Stuck inside the bomb site. Somehow Zashin took Had like to 70 damage from a money. Happen. And again, Cloud9 this time opening up overtime strong. 20 and 18. 20 to 18. Here we go. Here comes Exertion this time. He's oh. out of the elbow. And this time he's going to be able to get the electronic and perfect. I cast aside. And Mao's up two players right from the get go. Boomich going to try and pull that back. He's detected, but it doesn't matter. He drops towards him. With that kill, the bomb is down too. And Axel uses that chaos as a distraction to move forward. Oh, it's an absolute mess in mid. And the bodies scatter the battle. Hobbit can clutch. Yeah, it's a brawl. It's like both teams agree that the round would be won and lost at middle because they just kept throwing bodies at the problem the whole time. But now Mao's in the three-on-one. They can pause. They can wait. They can take a breath. See what the reaction is going to be from Hobbit. I'm on top fragger right now. Brolin making his way through B. He's sensing there's no one here. He'll call that back to his teammates. 
and they shall join him in just a moment. Hobbit once again just so far out of position. He loves A main. <laughs> He'll have to sprint the whole way. And Ninja defuse again. Last <laughs> round of this first <laughs> overtime, half of third overtime. Yeah, it's a rough one. So, so it'll it'll be it'll be twenty to nineteen when all is said and done after this. Mao's have to win have to win all three to, to win an overtime. And a kid. On their CT side when they switch. Maybe Spark gets ninja defuse somehow. No Hobbit going for it. Certainly what he can in, but as you mentioned earlier, his position was just too far out, and he won't be able Two to CT stop the 19th going against Cloud9. He's up to 31 that. kills, Hobbit, in this game. Exertion at 32, and look at this job in middle. Almost transfers over, but that's a tough shot for Perfecto to hit with the AWP as you recover. And there's a little bit of Perfecto. a change up. The AWP being one of the aggressors in middle. Okay. They were hoping to get him in position to take a pick, but Exertion just gets out way too quick and neutralizes the AWP in that role. Timeout called by Cloud9. We have another timeout? Setting up what's going to be a T-half. Do you get every time it's OT and, and a win. bonus 22, timeout? 22, the magic number. And at this point in the game, you're not looking know. at the playbook. You're thinking back to That's everything kinda cool. you've seen. Throughout these overtimes, throughout regulation, Thought you're trying to adapt on the fly based on how, how Mouse no has more, been playing. You know? And if we remember at different points, Cloud9's most effective T-sides have been at attacking the extremities. They haven't found too much success in middle. They haven't shown the overwhelming aggressiveness that Maus has, that Exertion has to just take middle through the utility. After this, Navi elimination game. Monka S. Electronic will get towards elbow, but it's just to throw utility. He won't be going for that aggressive maneuver around the corner. Exertion climbs up. Onto the ledge, Shuei's with him. And they're hearing a lot Come of presence on. from Cloud9 here. Shuei thought he had a chance there to take the Just first kill two around, rounds, but it's bro. not to be. And Boomich is being bombarded, he's down to 17 health. Oh man. Yeah, the cost of maintaining control of lane that early in the round. He's gonna back off and he'll be the designated utility chucker. Cloud9 settling into this round, a slow-paced T-side. Just wasting the utility of Mauers, getting themselves into position. Could have been a beefy there, but just about misses Brawlin. A little bit of damage, takes it off the top. And Mouse now Axel is even dropping B. further back to join them at B. I mean, this this obviously looks like it's just going to end up at that B bomb site. They, they want to take over Cave and Jaguar first, so Torji's going to have a chance with his op to have impact. And there's so many players on this side of the map, so Maus have a chance to shut this down. Torsi can't Come on. miss though, and he's forced to miss because oh, he misses so the much. flash to the face. And now with 25 seconds left, the commitment up the ramp is being stalled out by the fire. No so Axel can't join his teammates. And Cloud9 nice. need these kills now. They need to get into the bomb Dude. site. And they're doing damage. They forced them back. The plant is coming in. Three and three. Electronic confirms that. And now we're down to a 3v3. No smokes for the retake. Just a molly. They've got an incendiary and a flash that, to make that it happen. Great. That's a huge Molotov out towards Long. That buys Boomich so much time. And he's just got Boomla. eyes on this. He just wants no. one more kill, but he's not allowed it. And so Axel has to step up in his stead, and he's been Nine. so good on this match. Electronic one, two. Electronic wins so these. He wins these. So cool in these clutches. He's got himself one from behind the box, and this time it's and? a deep kill on the mouse side. No. Of the Exertion comes off to swing. He gets rid of Electronic and gets back to that deep fuse. It's so tied up close. All again. That's so massive. There's so much time left in that bomb planet. And electronic feels like he has to bite on the tap on the defuse and exertion just knows he's got plenty of time to get off and find that kill just barely holding on and cloud nine actually won out at a certain point forcing that long defense to retreat fully back to the corner behind the cube it actually felt like they would they got an advantage but boomage could never find a better position <laughs> And Torch is bringing the energy, and uh, I think his headset has <laughs> not ah. appreciated that. So a tech issue here to get that one solved, and uh, I don't think it's going to be one that lasts too long. No, it's a classic. A little excited on the celebration. Stike on the back. Stike, you're about to get eliminated, that's a, my that's friend. That's a look. That's Sorry. a death stare from Perfecto. Payback for Big Clan G. 
Admins just passed it along. It was a headset issue for the mouse side. And we'll be back underway shortly. Players settling in now. Fist bumps back around. And we continue on with overtime. Here we go. Third overtime. First to 22. What a game this turned out to be. It's always the games that have the two blowout first maps that deliver on Ancient for the third. And again, we are no closer to deciding who will be taking this one. Nate goes forward, Hobbit. Ooh. Bad Nate. It's going to be Boomich that nearly eats that one, but just about dodges Minus it. And Electronic, zero. he's setting up his team for what looks to be a quick play up this B site. Brawler comes out, spots out Boomich, laying down the law with his AUG. Bruh. It's not getting anywhere here for Cloud9. They're held back after that first kill. Uh, did they run out of steam? Have they finally run out of steam, Cloud9? Oh, no. Looks like they want to burst through this smoke. Oh, this is bad. This is this looks in, really bad. Oh, perfect yeah. for Shuhei. Coming oh, my days. Smoke blown open. He's got another. Yeah, they nuke the smoke. They reveal multiple players in Mao's up. This may be a couple it. of members here. Perhaps Cloud9 really have run out of steam, but there's new fuel found. It's Perfecto's kill on Prolan. And he might be able to get a little bit more here. Molly's out towards he cancels him out for the meantime, and there is obviously a lot of time and space to plant this bomb now, and Electronic is going to confirm those digits down. Somehow. Perfecto's looking for fights. You gotta work up courage to move out of the bomb site if you're one of these two. Oh, they line oh, up with each Jesus. other, they're eclipsing one another. What are we and doing? What are we doing, bro? Oh, it's absolutely awkward inside of the site here on Perfecto. This is gonna be so tough. This is gonna be ridiculous. Uh, and he can't do it. He can't pull this one off. And it's gonna be Mao suddenly up to map and That just makes no sense. Time. Yeah, Why are we speaking so like that? You're both stuck in that bomb site. Those clutches, you just can't care, c cover enough area to prevent the retake from happening. And they were forced to just double swing because they know if they both sit there, they're both dead. Mm. Tough situation to be in, and finally, for the first time, Mouse is going to have series point. They had to force overtime, they had to force double overtime Lord. and triple overtime. Now they finally have the a chance first to time? take it away. Mouse match point? Then GG. This game is absolutely incredible, and it could have been. Oh God, I was be rushing. I hope not. Earlier on, Cloud9 had a last-second headshot go against them. They've had multiple chances to close this. But Maos are now the ones ready to take this series. And they're back to a B hit. Three in a row. Running out of steam. And I, I running mean, out of ideas. They've oh been no. stopped here a number of times, I'll say though. Dude, this angle A is Torgy so much easier. It's just Jim when Torji misses every no, option. Won't be this time. He's forced behind that smoke and Brolin. He'll play from the cubby. Swings on out. That's Axel down early. Here goes Brolin again. Lining up a double. GG. And Mouse have done GG. it. Pushed to the brink multiple times. This team survived. They showed tenacity. Cloud nine. GG to Mouse. So many GG times. to Mouse. Mouse only needed one chance, one opportunity. My days. And they Navi elimination game. So much credit right now coming up. In this third map. When you consider Navi, it may be the last day at IAM Kerovica. Because they lost the game yesterday against Spirit. That 1v1 clutch. Ever since then, he responded One of Navi's in most important game. in this victory for Maus. Games. A great first win to it for a team that came into Katowice cold. And this Cloud9 loss is going Ouch, to be so bro. frustrating. Ouch. You're going to leave this game today thinking about all those moments, how close you were so many times, and you couldn't get it.